audiobook title Reincarnated in Another World, 01-37 by Men Maishi. This work belongs to author Men Maishi, source scribblehub.com, mundane life. Hikaru, are you listening? The teacher is talking. I can move my arms. Must be a side effect of the meds. Yes, that's all I could mutter before falling asleep. Incredible, not again. The teacher is screaming at me. I can only hear her screams before falling asleep. I can't help things like these. I want knowledge. I want to know everything that there is but I can't do much now. I am Hikaru and I have paranoid schizophrenia. My daily life is hell. The bell that announced the break woke me up from my slumber. I gone at my locker and looked at it. I need to take another dose. Are you sure about all of that? I can see a person, someone from the school staff standing there. Why would you care? I looked at them in contempt. I always put up a front to deceive people and not let them cackth on to what is happening. I do care. The man put me down on the floor and began to strangle me. What the hell? I managed to punch him off me. I can hear whispers from all over. What is happening? Am I hallucinating again? I look behind me to see Hannah, my desk mate. Looks like I have to move the date. And the date is now. Hikaru, are you okay? Date of what? Hannah, my desk mate, she knows my situation better than anyone. She looked at me with concern. No, everything is not okay. I just want out. I have been planning this for a while. They are getting out of control. I hallucinated someone strangling me. I can't let my mind deteriorate at this rate. I ran away from Hannah. I ran to the rooftop. The rooftop, it isn't closed off yet. We had a few students commit suicide a few years ago. A suicide takes place here every year, and it looks like I am going to be the next lucky person in that line. I had planned this for months. It's not my first trying. All of my other four attempts Hannah saved. I ended in an hospital and a psychiatric ward every time for a few weeks or months at a time. A fall from a great height should do it this time, I am sure. I don't want to drag anyone else into this. I am afraid Hannah will do something stupid like follow me. She is deskmate but we grew up like we were siblings. Her parents were good friends with mine and let her stay at our place often. Hikaru, stop. Hannah is running towards me, but I am faster than her. I climbed over the fence and plunged down and closed my eyes. Don't. This is the fifth time. Isn't there anything that can be done? Hannah caught me as I was about to plunge down. I saw my own hand holding onto hers. Was I scared? No, get a grip on yourself Hikaru and let go. No, I am afraid not. Trust me I tried everything I let go of her hand she leaned in more to catch me but she slipped and two have fell to our deaths. It took us a few minutes to die but it happened in the end. The momentary anguish we felt will be nothing. Everything faded to black. My last thought on this. While I dragged Hannah onto this, I hope she survives, she is a person who genuinely likes life. Well, I guess it won't matter if she is dead. We will both be corpses, can't do or feel anything. Notice. Preparing body for reincarnation. Complete. I look around me to see an empty void. Why can I still see? Is it one of those visions before death? Welcome you too. I am sorry for the fate that you two suffered I can hear a gentle voice speaking. What does she mean by you two? Hannah died as well. Hikaru, what in the hell were you thinking on that roof, throwing yourself off? I can hear Hannah's voice near me. Looking to my left she is there. Just give me a break. I am tired of everything in life. I don't want to live anymore. I genuinely wanted to die that's why I threw myself off the roof. It's not your fault. I stood up in this void like dimension. Don't worry you two. I forgot to mention that your whole class was summoned to another world alongside you two. Well it's special since you two are reincarnations, you will have a random race and two skills of your choosing, then three random skill. One of them is a guarantee to be a primordial tier skill so we really are going to another world, fuck. I didn't kill myself just to get to live again. Thank you for another chance at life, whoever might you be wait. Hannah is thanking them? Everything turned white and now we are in a palace. Hashtag primordial skills gained. Lord of Wisdom Sia. The Lord of Deceit and Lies Lucifer Hashtag Hashtag Skills Gained Shadow Magic Shadow Hand Shadow Magic Shadow Tendril Ice Magic Ice Master Hashtag It's as the goddess said, we gained a few new skills. But where did the two primordial skills came from? Weren't we supposed to choose them skills? Negative Hikaru, 
These skills represent your desires. I was born from your desire to know everything that there is to know ans I know everything that there is to know. The lord of deceit and lies Lucifer skill came from your constant deceit of other people from your real problem and condition. So this is see a lord of wisdom. So it's like a best friend that is 24-7 in my head. I checked my status to see everything about me. Asterisk status. Reincarnated. Race. Shadow ice demon. Evolution. Lesser demon. Next evolution demon. Evolution line. Granted by Lord Sia lesser demon demon. 20. Greater demon. 40. Arch demon. 60. Demon peer. 80. Devil. 100. Arch devil. 150. Devil peer. 200. Devil lord. Demon. Lord Evolution via the Demon Lord Seed while reaching the last evolution step. Evolution Requirements Reach Level 20 Skills Shadow Hand Shadow Tendril Ice Magic Mastery Lord of Wisdom Sia Lord of Deceit and Lies Lucifer Items Ice Sword Shadow Sword Class Shadow Mage Level 1 HP 1500 Attack 30 Defense 40 Agility 60 Mana 6000. Intelligence. Lord of Wisdom Sia. Disguise. Lord of Deceit and Lies Lucifer Asterisk. I look to my left to see Hannah. She is looking differently. She has two small horns on her head now. She is looking at her status. Sia Appraisal. Asterisk Status. Reincarnated. Race Orc. Evolution Orc. Next Evolution. Greater Orc. Evolution Line. Granted by Lord Sia or Greater Orc. 15. Arch Orc 30, Orc Lord 45, Ogre 90, Greater Ogre 120, Arch Ogre 160, Ogre Lord 200, Kijin 220, Greater Kijin 240, Oni 300, Greater Oni 340, Oni Lord 380, Divine Oni slash Cursed Oni slash Yinyang Oni, Demon Lord Evolution via the Demon Lord Seed while reaching the last evolution. Step Divine or Cursed Oni evolution depends on which skill they obtain. If they obtain Holy Light they will evolve in a Divine Oni. If they obtain Cursed Flame skill they will evolve into a Cursed Oni. If they have both skill they will evolve into an Inyang Oni. Evolution Requirements Reach Level 15 Skills Flame Burst Shadow Movement Great Sage Lord of Beauty Aphrodite Lord of Compassion Afriel Items Flame Grenades Class Mage Level 1, HP, 2000, Attack, 25, Defense, 60, Agility, 40, Mana, 1500, Intelligence, 100 asterisk. Loka like she has a lot of evolution lines, more than I do in fact. Where the hell are we? Looks like another world Hannah seems scared and excited at the same time. Well looks like it. I look around me to see my classmates look at us weird. They are concerned about you two and the way the two of you look. The way you two look is abnormal to them since their race is all human, and you are the only ones who are monsters in this whole place. What happened to you two? One of the class's top students asked us. Well, we don't really know too much. We are just as clueless as you are. I use appraisal on the top student. He is a hero class strange. His status is stated as transfer. Both me and Hannah are mages but almost everyone in my class is either a hero or a sage. Demons or other monsters can have the hero status. The only equivalent will be the demon lord evolution for every race. Welcome heroes. We summoned you to the country of Wika. You will have an audience with the king at once. A old man spoke to us and is guiding us to a large room where supposedly a king resides in. The audience with the king has gone well with everyone but us. You dare to summon wretched monsters such as an orc and demon here? How can he figure it out? You have a blue and a black horn growing from your forehead so it's very noticeable. And Hannah's horns are visible as well. Your skin color as a demon is also different. You have a darker skin tone. But sire, we can be useful to your country as well. Hannah tried to convince the king. Silence, you insolent wench. Monsters have no rights in a country such as this. Be gone at once. I decided to spare your miserable lives so go now until I call the guard to kill the two of you fucking bastard. I swear I am going to kill him. I already have information about most of my skills and what they do. Let's go Hannah. 
We will leave this place and return as demon lords and kill this bastard once we are strong enough. I grabbed Hannah's hand and dragged her out of the castle. Our appearance is still human so I don't see why the king will discriminate it against us for just having monster features. What a bastard he is. We ran into a forest near the palace. What are we going to do now Hikaru? We are alone in a world we don't know too much about. Hannah started to cry. Don't worry. I have a primordial skill that grants me all knowledge of this world. First we need to raise our level through battle. We have to find some weak monsters to use our skills on and then if you level up to level 15 and I level up to level 20 we will both evolve. Is it true? She looked at me with renewed hope. I am glad that I have Sia. I would have been bawling my eyes out like Hannah if this would have happened. Yes. We need to be careful though. We are still level 1 and monster might be even higher level than what we currently are. I can hear shuffling near us. This is no good. Monsters might be attacking us already. Use skills, Shadow Hand, Shadow Tendril. I know these skills can help me. The information about shadow magic was transferred to my head the moment I had learned this skill. The magic itself is invisible to everyone but the caster or to a person that has the high level shadow sense skill. As expected a wolf jumped us. I quickly impaled it with my shadow tendrils to impale and kill it. Dollar gained 100 exp dollar. You and Hannah had reached level 2. Answer. Since the two of you are nearby you received equal amounts of exp points. Plus you already form a party from the moment you exited the castle. Sia answered my question even before asking it. Thanks I thank them in my mind. See, there is nothing to worry about. Once we get to evolve once we will be stronger. Hannah please, you will have to fight as well in this battle against the king. If we are treated like this, then they surely won't treat other people well. I helped Hannah to stand up. Well you are right Hikaru. We need to do something about this as soon as possible me AMS Hannah wandered deeper in the forest. At night. It's night we stopped, and I gathered some sticks and dead wood. Hannah ignited the wood with her fire magic. At least this will keep us warm. I am standing first guard. After a few hours it will be my turn to rest. We have a long journey ahead of us. Deep in the night we were attacked by some wolves. I defeated them and gathered some meat from them. I cooked it over THR fire after Sia gave me the go to about eating the meat. What happened? Hannah woke up for her guard shift. Or the smell of Mir woke her up. Well, some wolves tried to attack me so I dealt with them. I analyzed the meat, and it's okay to eat for us. Monsters are immune to diseases that humans suffer from so we can eat infected meat all we want. Half is for you the two of ate the wolf meat that I cooked. Well, mostly roasted. It didn't taste good or anything but at least it was something. One wheel later. One week of surviving off of roasted wolf meat. Plants and river water we found a small abandoned hut. We were well enough rested and I am almost level 20, and Hannah is almost level 15. I discovered from Sia that demons gain the XP faster than any other monster, and have less evolutions but orcs and their evolutions gain the XP slower but they can evolve, more times than most monsters. Look there Hiraku. We can finally have a proper rest Hannah ran in the direction of the hut but I stopped her in time. It might be a trap for all that we know. We must not hurry in there. I use my shadow tendrils to enter the house and trigger any magic traps that there will be. Okay, it's safe to enter Hannah. I entered first into the house to check again. I have higher defense than Hannah so I should be okay with a few hits. The house seems to be furnished and good for two people. The bed looks worse than I imagined. We can patch it up with the few wolf skins that we gathered this week. Looks like we can fix this place up with the few wolf pelts Hannah entered the house. She looked around and began cleaning. I helped her out. It took us an entire day to clean everything. We still had leftover meat, and we ate that and fell asleep. The next day, we woke up early in the morning. I started by gathering some herbs from around the house. We ran out of meat. I had gone hunting I found some a male deer. Good that should sew it with our food situation. I used my shadow hand to pierce into the deer and stop its heart little by little, making it faint and killing it when it got unconscious. I didn't even intend to live like this or live in the first place. I gutted the deer with my shadow tendrils and brought the meat back to Hannah. I used some of the herbs we had been eating as seasoning, also foraged for some wild vegetables. It was a hassle but finally found some. The house had a stove and some pan that we used to cook the meat. No oil though and so we used water. 
The meat was more boiled than fried but I guess it would have been worse with no food at all. What else will life bring us? I felt like this week I didn't even have time to take a break. Everything's so fast I can't even remember one thing. But the one thing that I observed is that I was cured of my condition in this world. Hey Karu, let's reinforce this first. You can help me with your shadow tendrils. Maybe you can use Sia to make some tools and nails for us. Hannah smiled at me. 7. House Reinforcements So, now we have to reinforce the house. We will need wood, then cut that wood into planks. Then nail them to the windows. But how do we get nails? I can make nails for you, Hikaru. You just need to give me some iron ore. I can make tools as well. Just give the materials needed to make them, and I will make them. You are great, Sia, I praised her. So, what did you talk to Sia? Hannah put her left hand on my right shoulder. Well, she can make tools as well as nails and other useful things. Maybe we should consider something about this reinforcement. It is very concerning to see a house like this in shambles. And it has everything that we need as well. I looked at the house again. Seems like it's not in a bad condition as we think it is. Well, don't be down. The house isn't in such as bad condition as you think it is. We need some iron or stone and then we can have some tools made by Sia, don't you think? Well, yes. But how do we get iron and materials for making the tools? How do we get there in the first place? I am looking at the ground at some stones. I grab a lot of stones and a few sturdy sticks slash. Sia, can you combine them? I asked her to see what she can do, if it really is true. Yes, I can make tools for you too. Don't doubt me, Hikaru. Use skill. Lord of Wisdom Sia the stone and woods transformed into tools right in front of our eyes with the help of Sia. Yes, it worked. Now we have tools and we can finally barricade and reinforce the house with some planks. But we don't have any nails. I got it. Go to a river and look for some rock that might have iron in them. Hannah had this idea. A thing that I forgot about is that stones do contain iron. Not a lot of it but they do have some. I plan on extracting iron from them now. Okay. You got it Hannah. Be careful while sitting here. If any wolves come, burn them to a crisp. I ran to a river, the place where the houses seem to have no monsters in a 300 meter area. Somehow monsters don't even come closer than 300 meters from the house. The only expect I on will be wolves but they are pretty easy to deal with. I arrived at a lake and looked left and right. Nothing but stones. Use skill. Lord of Wisdom Sia I use Sia to make nails. I touched and extracted the last ounce of iron from every stone that I could find. When I had enough nails I made some iron tools and even a katana for me and a dagger for Hannah. I exhausted all the iron supply there. There is no more iron that can be found in that area, not matter what skill you use. I arrived back to see Hannah cutting and splitting firewood. I looked inside the house and she already repaired the stove and fireplace. You sure were busy I dropped off the nails and tools. You were busy as well. I see you got us a lot of tools and even weapons. That's great. From what I remember I already have two swords that are of a better quality than this katana. But I should use the strong swords when I need them the most. You can use the katana if you want to. I have spares no. Maybe I should give the katana and the dagger to Hannah. You sure? She looked at me worried. Yes, look at this. I pulled out the eye sword out of my inventory. Wow, that's an eye sword. Well I know that you are safe now so I will take them. Thank you Hikaru. The magic ice sword regenerates with mana. You can't lose it since it will come back to your inventory after some time. So Hikaru, how are we going to cut the planks and all? Can your shadow tendrils do that? I told her during the week about my skills. Her skills are more for trading and spying rather than fighting. Well yes let's see I walk to a tree. Use skill. Shadow tendril I begin to cut the tree with my shadow tendril. It fell down in a few cuts. Wow, now let's see how are we going to make planks from them. This world confuses me Hannah looked at the fallen tree. I can do just that Hikaru. I can turn that whole tree into planks if you will so allow me. Use skills shadow tendrils. Lord of Wisdom Sia I used both skills on the wood. Lord of Wisdom Sia skill turned the whole tree into planks. More than we need. Me and Hannah started to board up the house. The house was boarded up by the time night arrived. Well, we did good work I say Hannah is so optimistic. This house won't stop stronger monsters from ruining it. These planks will buy us a few minutes at most. You are optimistic about this aren't you? 
these things will bring us only a few minutes to escape by pointed at the planks. It doesn't look sturdy but good enough. Don't be such a killjoy. Let's eat and then sleep. Tomorrow I want to try and evolve. Isn't our goal to become demon lords? Hannah looked at me and pouted. Yes, that's our goal. But first we must make sure that we are safe and that we take on monsters that are on a level with us. If we aren't careful, we will get killed for sure and we can't even become demon lords then. I sat down in the table. Hannah cooked today. Tomorrow is my turn to cook so I will Ave to hunt. Life is crap no matter which world you are in. On earth or this world, I am already sick of them. But only thing keeps me going, the fact that I can get stronger. Unlike on earth where I am limited by multiple factors. 4. Evolution 1. We must do everything we can to evolve. We need to get stronger. We need to find a way to survive in this world. I found a way to cool off from what the king did to us. Well he just kicked us out into the unknown just for being monsters. But again, even in my world monsters get a bad reputation no matter what you do. I guess it's no different in this world. Today is a whole new day. We have to fight to evolve. I want to do it today so that me and Hannah reach level 20 and 15 specifically so that we can finally evolve. It's very hard to find monsters around this house so we decided to move out to another area that will facilitate us leveling up. So, what are we going to do today Hikaru? Hannah looked at me concerned. Well, we will evolve and fight some monsters. I bet that there is a town nearby where we can sell off some of the monster items that we will gather in a town. And we must be able to disguise ourselves somehow. You can disguise yourself using your Lord of Deceit and Lies Lucifer skill and sell items for money at an inn or shop without being Nazi'd as a demon. I got it. I can use one of my skills to hide my identity from other people and then we can sell the items Hannah looked at me speechless. Your skills do come in handy Hikaru Hannah looked at me again. We both gone from the house. But first we looked the house as best as we could. Me and Hannah traveled for a few hours until we reached a town that has a guild. Use skill, Lord of Deceit and Lies Lucifer Mine, and Hannah's form started to change into human form. We gone inside the Adventurer's Guild building to register. How are you two? Have you co, e to register with the guild here in Welsia City? The receptionist looked at us strangely. He is a middle-aged man that looks battle-hardened. Yes, we want to register with the guild. We want to take some requests to hunt monsters. I am level 19 and she is level 14. He looked at us again, but this time his gaze is a little relaxed. Well, you can tack G and F rank quests then only. Only after 30 quests you will be promoted. All the quests need to be of your rank or one rank higher. Those one rank higher count as two quests of the lower rank. He guided us to a room and told us to put our hands on a crystal globe. We both listened and put our hands there. My skill is enough to deceive even this crystal ball. Our race is human on both cards. I don't know if demons or other sentient monsters are allowed to join this guild but we both are ready to take on some quests. Well, here are some quests. You will both receive EXP points from completing the quest and from defeating the monsters or gathering the plants he gave us 5 quests. That are of F rank, most one of them is for gathering medicinal herbs, should be easy to do with Sia. And other are for fighting monsters like wolves and giant sheep and fruit monsters? I didn't know such monsters existed in a fantasy world. We will take all five. Hannah took all the five quests from the Repetitionist. Well, glad to see that you kids are up to earning some money well. True. While we need some money, we still have good gear and don't need to buy more gear. We might buy things for our house but nothing more or less. Maybe we will visit the shop or people that can teach me new skills that I don't know. If we want to defend ourselves out here we should be able to use more skills than the ones we already have. Well, we will be back once we finish off the monsters. Or likely when we finish all the requests. We left the guild and decided to go and fight the monsters in the nearby forest. Well, we didn't find them right away. So we are now doing the medicinal herb request. Sia, where are the herbs? There are a lot of them growing 100 meters from you too. Hannah, I found some of the plants that we are looking for. Come on we found a bunch of them growing in a clearing ahead of us. He left some there so that they can grow next time as well. Good, we have more than enough. Hannah looked at me happy. Well now it only remains to kill some of the monsters and then we can evolve. To reach your evolution level is harder than you think. You bottleneckle on this level and need exponentially more EXP to get to it. 
Come, let's go. I will be on guard for monsters. I take half, you take half. We wander through the forest blindly. I can hear all the animals and birds chirping all around us. The wind shuffling through the leaves. I can notice the bark of the trees. Some of the bark is cut off and some has scratch marks on it. Here they are. A few goblins jumped us. Use skill. Shadow hand. I summoned a shadow hand and reached within the goblins. I can feel its heart beating. I am touching it with my shadow hand. The moment I closed my fist its heart got crushed and the goblin died immediately. Well, this is powerful. I punched some of the goblins that Hannah is fighting. She is pretty good with handling a katana. She is better than I am. She cuts through goblins like butter. Well, twenty goblins are taken care of. Now we have to harvest the ears. She looked at the task ahead in disgust. Use skill. Shadow tendril. I use my shadow tendril skill to cut off the ears of the goblins. Well, we have enough proof for the guild. Three more quests to go. I guess I looked at the three remaining quests. One of them was for wolves. One of them was for a sheep monster, and one of them is for ten fruits monster to be killed. Great. We will have more meat to eat. We only need to bring the horns, fangs, and the pelt as proof. But we have our inventory. But I don't know if I can carry that much in my inventory. This world's in Beatrice is on a grid system. Most things are one by one. Swords are a little bigger, but my inventory is big. Hannah's is bigger than mine. Maybe it will change once I evolve. Let's take the fruit monsters first. Me and Hannah walk to the fruit monster nest. Use S K L L Shadow Tendril. I use my two shadow tendrils to kill all of the fruit monsters that there are. We both received the XP points for our endeavor. Okay, two left to go. I wonder why they wanted to rid of such weak fruit monsters. We didn't have to search much in the forest. The monsters had found us first. We are now surrounded by a pack of wolves and sheep monsters. Monsters that resemble sheep and are sheep but not quite sheep. I don't know how to explain. Use skill. Shadow tendril. Shadow hand. I use my shadow magic in order to kill as many as possible. I used my inventory and got my shadow sword out, and I gone for decapitations. After finishing all the monster, me and Hannah both hear something. Evolution commencing. We are evolving finally. I look at my level, and I am level 22 already, and Hannah is level 16. We both fell on the floor. We both felt excruciating pain in our bodies. We don't know why, but evolution hurts a lot. I don't know what to hear. We both fainted from the pain. We woke up later. Hannah woke up first. She looks different. The horns on her head are a little longer than usual. Sia, appraisal asterisk status. Reincarnated. Race, orc. Evolution, greater orc. Next evolution, arch orc. Evolution line, granted by Lord Sia greater orc, 15. Arch orc, 30. Orc lord, 45. Ogre, 90. Greater ogre, 120. Arch ogre, 160. Ogre lord, 200. Kijin, 220. Greater. Kijin, 240. Oni, 300, Greater Oni, 340, Oni Lord, 380, Divine Oni slash Cursed Oni slash Yinyang Oni, Demon Lord Evolution via the Demon Lord Seed while reaching the last evolution. Step. Divine or Cursed Oni Evolution depends on which skill they obtain. If they obtain Holy Light they will evolve in a Divine Oni. If they obtain Cursed Flame skill they will evolve into a Cursed Oni. If they have both skill they will evolve into an Yinyang Oni. Evolution requirements, reach level 30. Skills, flame burst, spatial movement, god speed, great wiseman, lord of beauty Aphrodite, lord of compassion Afriel. Items, flame grenades. Class, mage, level, 16. HP, 3500. Attack, 50. Defense, 120. Agility, 70. Mana, 4000. Intelligence, 250 asterisk. Looks like Hannah got some new skills and some of them evolved. Let's see my own now stats right now. Asterisk status. Reincarnated. Race. Shadow Ice Demon. Evolution Demon. Next evolution. Greater Demon. Evolution line. Granted by Lord Sia Demon. 20. Greater Demon. 40. Arch Demon. 60. Demon Peer. 80. Devil. 100. Arch Devil. 150. Devil Peer. 200 Devil Lord Demon Lord Evolution via the Demon Lord Seed while reaching the last evolution step Evolution Requirements Reach Level 40 Skills Shadow Hands Shadow Tendril X4 
Ice Magic Mastery, Lord of Wisdom Sia, Lord of Deceit and Lies Lucifer, Predation, Analyst, Space Storage, Items, Ice Sword, Shadow Sword, Class, Shadow Mage, Level, 22, HP, 4500, Attack 150, Defense 80, Agility, 200, Mana, 10,000, Intelligence, Lord of Wisdom Sia, Disguise, Lord of Deceit and Lies Lucifer Asterisk, Looks like we have loved. It took a lot of pain but we finally did it. Looking around us it's already night. We don't know what to do but harvest the monsters and bring everything back to the guild. It sure took you a while we brought everything back to the Recpecianist. Here you go, all five quests we dropped all the monster look aside from the meat on the table, and then we got paid. Well I never expected this much. Here you go. Five gold coins for everything that there is here. Five gold coins, that's a lot for us and we are starting. Tomorrow we will come to this village, and then we will buy some things for the house and some food seasoning because I am sick of always tasting crappy food or tasteless food. Home, it's your turn to cook today Hikaru. Use some of those herbs that we gathered on our way here to cook. I spent extra time cooking something for ourselves to eat. In the past week we ate only seasoned meat. We want something else to eat and fast. Tomorrow we must go to the city and gather as much supplies as possible. 2. Welsia Shopping Welsia City, a city in the Wika country, the country me and my classmate Hannah were reincarnated as. We had been to the city before but today we are going to visit the city again. We arrived in Welsia City under the disguise of my skill, Lord of Deceit and Lies Lucifer. The country itself isn't friendly to monsters, especially our races. I am a demon and Hannah is an orc. Orcs look differently than I expected. From anime back home most orcs were described as having boar-like features. But I guess in this world they are different. The creatures you are thinking about are named are called boar people. Boar people are humanoid-like creatures with boarish features. Hey, Hannah, what shop should we visit first? We have five gold coins so we should be able to afford some things here. I looked at the five gold coins that the guild had given to us for the five quests. They paid us more for us bringing more materials than was needed. Well, we should visit the tailor first. We are wearing the same clothes for a long time so why not buy new ones? The tailoring shop. When we enter the shop we can see the shop owner. He is young, almost as young as us. The shop had clothes racks everywhere. For giant flowers in every corner of the building. The walls are painted white with clothes painted over the white paint. The floor is made out of black stone tiles. What may I help you with? The man looked at us. His eyes were saying everything once he saw our clothes. Well, we look for some cheap clothes that will look good on us. Hannah began looking at the clothes in the shop, shuffling them from time and trying some out. What about you, sir? I see you don't know how to choose clothes. I have something cheap and affordable for you, too. Follow me. We followed the man to a more private part of the shop. What is this? Hannah looked at some clothes. I inspected them myself. They have leather and light iron padding for extra protection. Both shirt and pants have the same padding. They look good. They even have padding for protection. What do you say, Hikaru? Hannah looked at the clothes excited. Well, they are good. But how much for these? I pointed to the clothes. Well, two silver coins for the whole set. I consider it a failure since it didn't sell. So I leave it a 90% discount for you guys. He smiled at us somehow nervously. Sure, we will take it. How can I miss such a good deal? But first let me confirm the quality with my skill. The quality is better than average for the price. It can survive one strong attack before IR is destroyed. Sure, take a better look. Well, we will take them. I gave the tailor two silver and left the shop. Now, where shall we go, Hikaru? Hannah looked at me. She seems somehow sad about something. Well, we need food supplies and things to cook food better so let's visit a kitchenware shop. She looked at me again and nodded. Kitchenware shop. The shop has pans and kitchenware everywhere. The floor is made out of white tiles. The walls are made of wood painted in black. Seems like most shops have black and white colors. Or from what I see one of the colors is either white or black. Hello, what may I get the two of you? Are you newlyweds that moved into town looking for kitchenware? The man selling saw us right away. We didn't have time to react. Hannah blushed at his comment of us being newlyweds. No, we are adventurers. We are living together. We aren't married to each other. Look man, it's a long sotry. 
We just want some pans and pots. That's all. Well, whatever, won't but in your things. All the basic things that you need will be eight silver. It's everything you need for a kitchen. Wait here. I am going to bring them here. The man gone into the back of the shop and brought us a set of pans and pots. I don't know where to put these. Wait. I have the space storage skill. Maybe I should use that. Use skill. Space storage. I opened my space storage. A pretty big 10 by 10 grid. Here you go. The man brought the pots and pans to us. He looked exhausted after carrying all of them. Well, these look good enough. Here you go. I gave the man eight silver. We are down to four gold and 90 silver. Do you know if there is a place that people can teach us skills or something similar? I am putting the pots and pans in my spatial storage. They occupy half of my space. Yes, there are actually scrolls that teach you skills here. These scrolls can teach you a skill instantly, even race specific skill. But those are harder to master once you learn them though. The shop is next to mine, the skill shop. You can buy a skill that can destroy or mold things. I can combine that skill with predation, analyst and space storage and form the legendary skill predator. I entered the skill shop. This shop is furnished like a Japanese shop. Is the owner and otherworlder as well? I look around with Hannah to see signs written in Japanese. Aha, you two are from Japan as well, right? Good to see other people are in this world as well. The woman at the shop smiled. Well, yes, we are looking for skills. I am looking for a skill that can destroy and mold things. Hannah needs a shadow magic skill. I recommend getting the skill Insidious for her here in order for it to evolve into Shadow Step and then into Shadow Walk and then Shadow Run and then all the skills Spatial Movement and God Speed will be made into the skill known as Shadow Frenzy. Okay, I have that skill. It is known as Skilled Craftsman. Any other skill? I want a Shadow Magic skill, Shadow Walk or Shadow Run to be precise if you have it. Insidious is good as well but it will take a lot of time to evolve the woman looked at me again, this time even more surprised. Yes, I do have Insidious skill scroll, but why do you want these skills anyway? I can understand a crafting skill, but why shadow magic? She is now suspicious of us. Say that you want to go on a stealth mission that is important for her to stay hidden. We need to do some missions, and she needs to keep hidden with a skill and left me take things head on. She is efficient with long-range spells more than close combat. I see. That will be one gold and ten silver. I paid for the skills. I gave the insidious skill scroll to Hannah. Skill gained. Skilled craftsman. Merging skills. Skilled craftsman. Predation. Analyst and space storage. Merge complete. Legendary skill obtained. Predator. What happened Hikaru? You zoned out for a second Hannah looked at me. It seems that I held my breath. I gained a new skill, Sia suggested me to buy a skill like that. I have the legendary skill predator, now what does it do? I checked to see my spatial storage. It still works and is now bigger it's 30 by 30 grid right now. All my items are still there. That is great but why did I learn the insidious skill? Hannah looked at me again. Well, the more you use it the more it will evolve. You will be able to combine some of your skills and make a legendary skill as well called Shadow Frenzy. Hannah looked at me, her eyes shining. That is great. I will work as hard as I can for this skill. Now we have one last shop to go to, the grocery product shop. Don't buy any tools. I can make tools a lot easier right now with the Predator skill since you can devour and separate things. Also combine things to make new ones. Look, Hannah, once we get into the shop we must not buy tools. With the Predator skill and Sia I can make them much easier than before. I understand, I am kinda hungry so let's hurry. The grocery shop. The shop is more lively than the other ones, the wall is painted red and the floor has green tiles. There are vegetable and some meat store and ice made with ice magic. We already have meat, we need more veggies and size. Well Hikaru, I will get the other things and you can look around. I know what to look for exactly here. Hannah left me alone in the shop. Hello, looking for something. Maybe something for the lady, she seems a little sad, don't you think, maybe this will cheer her up. It's only one silver per set he presented me with a set of coffee, tea and sweets. The set has 20 tea sack and 20 coffee sack and 40 round candy in it. I want two of these, and four coffee boxed and four tea boxes. All of them different aromas I whispered to the vendor. Got it sire, coming right up, 
Ten silver I gave him ten silver in secret. I left some money to Hannah so she can pay some things herself. I put everything in the spatial storage and hidden them from Hannah. We'll give it to her tomorrow. I am done Hikaru. How much will these be? Hannah bought a lot of vegetable. I guess I also have strong ice magic and can store them. That will be twenty silver in total I gave the man twenty more silver and left with Hannah for our home. 3. Predation 1. I want to see what the predator skill does. The predator skill allows you to devour other monsters and get skills from them. Once you kill a monster your predator skill in order to absorb it, and its skills. Also predator will allow you to harvest things such as pelts from the monsters or humans you kill. Let's see, what skills should I get with this predator skill first? You can try and get the skill of the wolves that roam the forest. It's interesting to see you use it. You can also share a skill with someone if the skill is of a low rarity. Well that's awfully convenient. Let's see, what is the skill that wolves have? Well better find out, and not waste time fantasizing about skills. Hikaru, I what are you thinking about? Hannah is sitting across the table from me. The table is small and squared. I never took a good look around the cabin in a while. It's different, than what it once was due to Hannah's improvements. It had been one week since we had gone shopping in Welsia. I didn't even give her that gift yet. I still hesitate to do it. What is wrong with me? I am thinking about my predator skill and which way does it evolve or what it will all allow me to do in the future going forward. This is the best answer that I can give to Hannah. Well, let's test it out together. Let's kill some monsters and then use the skill to see what it does. Hannah sure seems pretty happy about all of this. The predator skill can evolve three times from its current state. The next evolution stage is called devourer. The second is called gluttony, and then it will turn into a primordial skill with a random name. Okay, Sia, but what I need to do to evolve them. I want to get as many skills as possible. If we are going to defend ourselves, then this is the right way to do it. Obtaining as many skills as possible. For the first evolution, you will need two skills that can do the next things. One are capable of creating another dimension and two, are capable of absorbing and dissolving different substances. Your current version allows you to craft items from solid objects by molding but it won't work on chemicals. For the second evolution state you will need three skills that can do the following. 1. Skill Breakdown 2. Mana Control 3. Air and Humidity Control. For the final evolution stage you will need to have four skills that can do the following. 1. Mana stealing 2. Dot mana transferring 3. Heat control 4. Dimensional spatial divital skill. Okay Sia, how do I get all of these skills? How in the world am I even going to achieve this feat? You can steal them with predator from other people or monsters that you meet. There are monsters that have all of these skills but some of them are harder to beat than the most monsters you meet here. I can guide you to a den of monsters that posses all two of the skills you need here but you need to be careful as there is a swarm of them running around. Hikaru, what did Sia tell you this time? Hannah is looking at me with a weird expression. Well, he told me that my skill can evolve three times and the third time it turns into a primordial skill but I will need to add a lot of other skills into the mix for me to obtain the primordial skill. I forgot to mention that you also need to evolve every time you evolve your predator skill. I suggest that both you and Hannah evolve at the same time and gain new skills together. Sia says that we need to evolve every time we want to upgrade our skills. I am going to assume that we need to have the skills before the evolution and the skills will evolve automatically. Correct. Well, from what you told me I have a lot of evolution lines but I gain level harder and my stats are lower compared to your Sakaru. I guess demons are just stronger naturally aren't they? Correction. A Kijin is stronger than a greater devil. Well, a Kijin is stronger than a greater devil, or this is what Sia said to me. Well, that good to know. When I am a Kijin I will be stronger than you. Hannah looks more pleased with herself. Well, we lost too much time talking. Let's head out and kill some wolves. Me and Hannah headed out of the cabin. We walked around and found a pack of wolves. Hannah got ready for battle with her katana. I already dispatched some of the wolves with my shadow hands and tendrils. Hannah finished off the rest. That's good work. Now let's see what skill we gain. Use skill. Predator I put my left hand forward. A black mist came out of it that devoured the slaughtered wolves. Skills gained. Shadow movement. Peril thought and thought communication. You gain skill duplicates. Would you like to share them with Hannah? Sure. 
Hannah gained the following skills. Shadow movement. Peril thought and thought communication. Peril thought allows you to think two times faster. Thought communication allows you to communicate it via telepathy with people that possess the skill and shadow. Movement will allow any tamed companion to move in your shadow or the shadows in 30 meters around you. Both me and Hannah got the same explanation from Sia. Well, now that the way we think is linked Sia can use this to explain everything to both of us. For a skill that is sentient Sia sure is useful. 3. Encounter 1. After weeks this is our first encounter with our classmates since the king kicked us out. A few hours earlier, Hannah, I wanted to give you something. I kind of forgot about it I pulled the tea, coffee and candy box out of my spatial storage and gave it to Hannah. Thank you Hikaru. But why make me a gift? Do you want to date me or something? Hannah laughed at the thought. No, it's just that you don't seem happy with yourself in the last days. Hannah looked at me again. She seems angry. Well, yes, I am not happy. It's just things are too sudden for me. I know it had been a week, but I am still in denial of this world or that it even exists in the first place. I want it to be a bad dream and then wake up from it. I am not sure what I should do or what will happen next. I don't know if you ever think about these things, Hikaru. You realize that we are far away from home right now. And since we are reincarnations, I don't think that we are able to return to our world. And I died because of you. If you haven't thrown yourself out of the roof then, maybe all of us we would be able to return to our world Hannah slapped me hard. I am sorry Hannah, but this world, it offers me something better than the previous one ever could. I am very happy to be here, but I never thought about you and how you feel, like I'm ah sorry Hannah. I don't know what to say. I just wanted to escape my previous life as much as possible. I bowed down to Hannah. It is true that I never thought that it will come to this point. I just wanted to get as strong as possible in this world so that we won't have to worry about other things that might harm us here. But never I once thought about Hannah's feelings until I had seen her sad. I know, I literally know that you wanted to escape your life and illness. But dragging other people onto this isn't good. You at least could have jumped when I wasn't even at school. I hate to see you suffering Hikaru. That's why I jumped after you. I wanted to stop you from jumping but in the end the two have ended up dying. Hannah started to break down, getting angrier at me by the minute. Again I am sorry that I never thought about you and your feelings. I am truly sorry I bowed down again and let Hannah hit me. Hannah looked at me again. This time she looked like she snapped out of a bad dream. Look, sorry for hitting you. I told to have reacted like this towards you Hikaru. I am here for you if you need me. And thank you for the gift Hannah bowed down and hugged me. Thank you even in this argument she took the moral upper ground. I won't let this go to waste. If Hannah is going to take the moral high ground in every situation that she finds herself in then there needs to be someone who make the hardest of choices. Then this role will be mine. Hannah, there is something we need to talk about. In this situation you took the moral high ground. But we will need to do hard choices. Allow me to make the hardest and most despicable choices that there are to make. Please leave all these things to me. I don't want you to change. Hannah's face got beat red. Hikaru, I hope it never comes to this me and Hannah got up from the ground and gone outside the wooden cabin. So, what should we do today? Hannah looked at me smiling. It seems that things are back to normal. Well, we should scout the area more. Maybe we should go to the Adventurers Guild too and get some more quests. Or we can go in the opposite way of Valsia City and maybe we will arrive somewhere else. And if there is some there maybe we can obtain some useful items or even skills. Well, let's go then. But first I want to tell you something we started walking but Hannah stopped in her tracks. What it is Hannah? What happened? Is someone stalking us? I looked around me to see nothing. The forest is quiet. But not too quiet. I can still hear birds and the like around us. I am wondering about our classmates and how they are faring. I know that we got kicked out by the king but this is no reason they will stop caring about us, is it? I mean I still have some friends in the class I would like to see what they are doing. If we meet any of them either in Welsia or otherwise can we at least talk to them Hikaru? Sure why not? Me and Hannah started to walk on the opposite way from Welsia. Maybe it will reveal something to us. You might find some of your classmates at Welsia Academy. It is an academy in the outskirts of the city where people of this world and heroes alike are trained here in order to become stronger. Sia says that there is some sort of school for magic in Welsia. 
Maybe we can meet some of our classmates there, but we must take into consideration one important factor. I stopped walking and looked at Hannah. What is that factor? Hannah looked at me surprised. This is a world where magic exists and can be used by everyone freely, and then we have skills. And plus, they maybe already had brainwashed our classmates that because we are monsters now we are pure evil and humans are the only good race. And heck, maybe there is even a skill that allows you to do just that. Hannah looked at me in shock, her face having an expression of fear. You are right, we must be careful when we approach our classmates from our original world. But what can we do to prove we aren't hostile? What if they eric us without saying anything? Hannah's shock and fear subsided and is replaced by a want to solve this problem. Well, if the worst comes to pass then we will have to fight them. We won't kill them, only knock them out. I understand, that is better than killing them I guess Hannah looked at me again. We begin walking again, searching for any interesting points of interest that we might visit. Maybe a dungeon where we can obtain skills or more money to buy skills from the skill shop. While walking we admired the beautiful forest around us. It's still spring so most trees are in full bloom. Hannah is admiring and picking some flowers that she likes. She is one hell of a scavenger. She picks everything that she finds and that stuff is always higher in quality than normal. Maybe if we learn how to make potions maybe we can start a side gig of selling potions. After 30 minutes of walking we came across something that looks like a training ground. Hannah stop, let's hide in the bushes. I hear something up ahead I whispered to Hannah and the two of us hid in some bushes. After five minutes of waiting ten people came into the training grounds. They are our classmates. They are here. But with what reason are they here? You are stupid. What else would people do in a training ground Hikaru? I am ashamed that that you can't even make a simple logical connection like this. Sia, I meant what are they doing so deep in the forest? I doubt that the Acetomy is here. No, you are right. But the academy is two kilometers east of here. There were five boys and five girls in there. There are fourteen girls missing from there. We are only six boys in the class, me included, and there are nineteen girls in total. Man, things here suck. The food is very stale and we eat dried meat on most of our journey one of the girls complained. If you complain this way you will get kicked the same way Hannah and Hikaru were kicked. Remember why are we meeting here right? One of the boys brought the girls closer together. Yes, we are discussing about Hannah and Hikaru and how we can bring them back. We already made appeals to the king to bring the two of them back and that we will need our skills but it had gone terribly wrong because of multiple factors. But now we need to find a way to bring the two of them back I looked at Hannah and she wanted to make a move but I stopped her. Yes, we need some way for them to come back or a way for us to talk to them. I don't know what will happen next. But we need to find a way why are so many people wanting us back all of the sudden. We need them back. Imagine how much help they will be in saving this kind gum from demons and other monsters. Especially since Hikaru is a demon and Hannah is an orc. We can use their high stats and skills and training if we wish to and thus progress faster to return to our other world. So, the deal here is that, the faster we defeat the demons the better it will go for them. One thing that I learned from humanity up until now is that they demonize everything that they don't like. Demons in this world are likely not born evil but driven by humans to commit evil acts in order to survive due to persecution. They couldn't survive so they took arms against the humans and then started a war because their species was so oppressed. I know a medieval and corrupt society when I see it. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. The king needs to prove it first and then we can bring them back. But with how things look it won't be any time soon another one of the girls spoke. After some time of listening to their conversations I can hear footsteps. But it's more like a big dog walking, coming directly from where our classmates are. It's almost like they are headed for us. Five minutes later two big wolves with wings came from the forest. Our classmates got scared and frozen with fear. Now Hannah. Sorry for being late we jumped in front of them. Hikaru Hannah? They looked at us surprised. Yeah, it's us. Don't tell anyone that you saw us here, okay? The wolves are almost ready to attack us. Creature, Magi Wolf, you can obtain the skill air platform from them if you predate them. Use skill. Shadow tendrils I immobilize the wolves with my shadow tendrils and Hannah cut their heads off. Use skill. Predator I predated the two wolves. Hashtag skill gained. Air platform hashtag I gave the duplicate skill to Hannah. They took it down in an instant. 
all of them were surprised. No time to talk, follow us and we can talk somewhere else. Okay. The nine of them followed us to our house near Welsia. On the road we told them everything that happened, and where to find us if they need something or if we need something from them they should tell us, and we will get that to them in no time. This day was rough but at least I could see what my former classmates did, and if they missed us, seems only nine and the rest of fourteen don't seem to care. 2. Encounter 2 in Welsia. Two days after the encounter with our classmates. I had been two days since the encounter with them. We are now at our house preparing and talking about a way to level up. Since monsters at the level they are in the forest we barely get any EXP for killing them. As of now we are in our house discussing what we can do to level up. The wolves that we fought two days ago gave us some decent EXP but not enough for a level up. Hannah, what do you think we should do to raise our levels? We need to do that fast because we might be discovered by the king and hunted we are using thought communication every time we talk now. We can't afford being heard or discovered. Hikaru, why not take a break in Welsia first, and then we can take 10F rank quests from the guild and then maybe we can level up. It will help even if it's one or two levels. Maybe we will level up even three levels if we take on more dangerous F rank quests Hannah suggested while sipping out of a cup, full of tea. I am thinking of ways to level up faster but it seems that we are stuck. Once you get to a certain level monster EXP will start to drop less. You can still level up but it will be tedious. You need to beat monsters that are a few levels ahead of you like you did those wolves back there. There are also other monsters that are high level that you can kill as well. Or you can try your luck in a dungeon where monsters give the same amount of EXP regardless of your current level. Hannah, Sia gave me this fantastic idea. Maybe we should go into a dungeon someday. Maybe we can earn a lot of EXP there, and then level up. In a dungeon monsters give the same amount of EXP so why not go in one? I can hide my excitement. Well maybe it's a bad idea. We might not know what lurks in there and for all we know trap are a must in a dungeon. Plus, what are we gonna do when we reach the evolution bottleneck? How much EXP do we need to get to the next evolution stage I wonder? The next evolution bottleneck will be 20 times the express needed to reach 40 and 30. Hannah, it's about 20 times the express needed to reach level 40 for me and 20 times the express to reach level 30 for you I still need to tell Hannah what Sia says. The skill isn't strong enough to let Sia communicate directly with Hannah. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this as well. I should have been better prepared. When this skill evolves into telepathy maybe then it will allow me to talk to both Hannah and you. How can I evolve the skill into telepathy Sia? How can I? Well, you need a skill known as Bond. The Magi Wolves that you fought were pack member. You will need to predate two Alpha Magi Wolves in order to obtain that skill and have the common skill though communication evolve into the rare skill telepathy. Hannah, you are right. Maybe we should take on harder quests. Let's go to Welsia and see what they have in store for us. Welsia City. We gone straight to the Adventurer's Guild. Oh, you two again. Want quests again I assumed, right? The receptionist smiled at us. It was the same man behind the reception desk. Yes, we want to take F rank quests if it's possible. Ten of them to complete if we are allowed to that as I spoke to the man. Well, sure. There are a few quests you can take five of them are for gathering herbs and other stuff. 5 for defeating monsters, all of them F rank. The man gave us the papers in our hand. I looked at one of the mission but it was only wolves extermination. Nothing new from what I am seeing. Well, thank you, we will get to them right away I gave 5 to Hannah. I kept 2 gathering and 3 monster slaying for myself, and gave 3 gathering and 2 monster slaying quests for Hannah to take on. Be careful, there had been reports of alpha magi wolves stalking the area. The 5 killing requests are for the pack. One Magi Wolf will rip AG rank to shreds. Even an E rank has trouble dealing with one of them. An AD rank can barely take on an Alpha Magi Wolf. Be careful out there kids. Just slay the normal wolves and come to the guild directly once you have slain enough of them. You sure will make a lot of money for that many quests well. We already took down two Magi Wolves with ease. But how strong is an Alpha? It's three times stronger than a normal Magi Wolf but they are defeated with ease by using your strategy. Hannah, come on. We don't want to miss out of the quests. The moment we turn to the door we can someone familiar behind us. It was one of our classmates. It was a girl that I didn't see two days ago at the meeting. 
She looked at us in shock and weirdness. What are you two doing here? She whispered to us. We will tell you outside we gone outside with her. Okay, explain to me, what are the two of you doing here in Welsia? And why do you wear clothes like these? They look weird on you too, okay? So our clothes are more important to her than our well-being. Well, locals wear these so we decided to buy some clothes that are fitting for a local. We can't stand out too much. And why are you here? I asked her while I am ready to pull out a sword. I have a bad feeling about this. Use skill. Shadow tendril I made sure to first immobilize her without noticing with my shadow tendrils. She can't run now. That's beside the point. The king and the people at the academy are coming here to register as adventurers so it will be the best if the two of you will just get out. Before the king sees you again. Maybe this time he will kill you two of good. Thank you for the info. Are you going to come to the guild often? I want to know the hours so that we can come here safely. Well, we will come early in the morning to accept quests like today. If you come here in the afternoon we will be on quests and come back to Welsia for night time shopping we nodded and gone the opposite way ready to take on the quests. We are now in a forest and we are walking looking around for the materials that we need to gather for the quests. Let's see what we have here. I looked again on the requests, and all of them are herbs used to make potions. Maybe I will visit the potion shop and have someone teach me how to make these damn things. This grass that I gather that is used in potions is everywhere. Me and Hannah knocked down the gathering quest in about two hours. We gather enough for the two of us to start making potions ourselves. Now, we only have the extermination quests remaining. I looked at our statuses, and we are close to leveling up by one level. Yes, now, let's see where the wolves hide. Hannah seems to be excited about this quest as well. Is it me or does she seem happier since the last time we talked? So, what are we going to do with so much wolf meat? We can't sell it, right? I don't know. We killed so many wolves that we stocked up with meat for days. Negative. You can sell it or sell a dish that has wolf meat in it. If you can produce it in large quantities and open a stall and let someone run it then maybe you can sell all the excess meat and keep what you need. What dish are you suggesting, Sia? Cabbage rolls and sausages, of course. You can use your predator skill to make with the ingredients that you will have to buy. You only need to boil them afterwards and then you are done. Hannah can take care of the cooking and you of the preparing. Also, you can use wolf gut for sausages as well. I kept them hidden and far away in your spatial storage. Okay, you have a great idea. Hannah, I have a great idea what we will do with all the excess meat. But first, let's get that excess meat. We walked until we stumbled upon a cave. In the quest it says that they live in a cave. It's almost night. Maybe a surprise attack will work. Hannah, this is their den. Be prepared. Use skill. Shadow tendrils we attack the wolves with the advantage of the darkness. I managed to kill most of the pack. But deep inside the cave we can see two pair of deep glowing eyes. These two are the alphas. Those two are the alphas. Be careful Hannah. I will restrain them for you. I gone a heave first and restrain the two wolves. They can move but their struggle puts an immense toll on my body. Hannah rushed in and cut their heads off. Use skill. Predator I ate the two alpha wolves with the predator skill. Hashtag skill gain. Bond hashtag I shared the duplicate skill with Hannah. Combining skills. Bond and thought communication into the rare skill telepathy. Both me and Hannah are now able to hear Sia talking to us. Use skill. Predator I used my predator skill on the other wolves and harvested everything that there is to them. Kept their fong as proof and the head of the alphas. I am now level 24 and Hannah is level 18. The Adventures Guild. We looked through the windows of the guild and there wasn't anyone there. We entered the guild and showed our kills to the receptionist. He was surprised by us taking down two alpha magi wolves. We received 10 gold and 50 silver. 2. Plot of the local lord. Today is another day. Two days after we meet with our classmates, we are back in Welsia trying to meet with our classmates, at least those of which are on our side. We must be very careful though. If we are seems by someone who isn't on our side we will have trouble. I think that the girl that saw us is really on our side but we can never know. We waited around the adventurers guild and soon enough some of our classmates arrived there. It was those who are on our side. Hey Hikaru, Hannah how are the two of you holding up? There is something important that I need to tell all of you Hidaka Masamune. One of the boys that is on our side came today at the Adventurer's Guild. Well, what is it? 
Spill the beans already I whispered to him. We are all standing on the farthest side of the guild so that no one will hear what we are talking about. You have been snitched on by that girl that you meet two days ago. She told the king and now the king gave the local lord the mission to hunt you two down. The king said to us that whoever brings your heads will be compensated handsomely. That's horrible, what will we do? Hannah got scared and started to shake. It's no joke, that bastard wants to kill us so bad that he will employ other people to do his dirty work for him. What a coward. I still can't hide the fact that I am shaking as well. Why am I so scared? I fought monsters that are scarier than the king before and why can't I do it now? What happened to me? I don't know what will he do but he said that he will patrol the city of Welsia to see if you two are here. If you two are found out you will have to deal with both his guards and himself. The lord is about level 10 and his guards level 5. They are pretty strong so be careful wait. Level 10? Are they joking? I am level 24 and Hannah is level 18. I hope they are joking. Wait, just level 10? That won't be a problem then Hannah looked at Hidaka again. He looked at us dumbfounded. Wait, what are your guys real levels? If you don't mind me asking that as Hidaka looked at us again. I suggest you tell them your real level. I am level 24 and Hannah is level 18 I whispered to Hidaka. That high? He put his hands over his mouth while saying this. It's not high at all. Look, we only need some time to prepare at home. She didn't come home to us so the Lord does not know where we live so it will be better for us to discuss things at my house. I used appraisal on the other and their levels were no more than level 10. Their stats are 10 times weaker than our. What is going on? They are heroes. They are supposed to have higher stats than these. They didn't get any experience on the field like you and Hannah. Their stats won't go up unless they have battled on the field with real opponents. If you want to give them a boss you can have them kill wolves with you for quests. This is another reason why the academy wanted them to take on quests from here is to improve their practical experience. Okay, let's go to my house Hidaka. I will tell you more there. Me, Hidaka and Hannah walked towards our house. Hidaka looks reluctant to do anything. We got jumped by a few wolves but I let Hidaka deal with them. He is shy at first but he will get used to it eventually. Come on Hidaka you can do it. I am cheering him on from behind. He took a step back and turned to me. Are you guys crazy? There are nine wolves. Can you guys take that much on? He looked at us scared out of his mind. Sure me and Hannah killed the wolves in an instant using our skills and weapons. Hidaka looked at us again disheartened. How am I supposed to do that? He looked at us again. You can do it. Just take a swing at them. Hidaka closed his eyes and managed to kill one of the wolves with his sword and then got the courage to kill the rest of the wolves with his sword. He looked happy when he managed to kill every wolf in the way. He level up to level 15. Wait a minute, he level up too fast. He levels up faster because he is a hero. A hero gained 3 times more EXP than a monster. But monsters tend to be 10 times more powerful than heroes are anyway. So you shouldn't worry. He won't be a threat, you can take him down even now and it won't pose much of a challenge for the two of you. Why does Sia have to make the most dumb decisions ever? When we reached our house we can see a strange man standing there looking through our things in the house. Well, we keep everything important in my spatial storage, but it's still irritating that he has to search through our house. That's the Lord guys, that short and slender guys dressed in green clothes and next to him are his guards Hidaka pointed to a short and slender guy. The same one searching through our house. Well, we will just have to wait here I assume. But I have an idea. Hannah, go and spy on them. I hope you evolved the skill into shadow walk by now Hannah Lujet at me and nodded. She activated shadow walk and go to listen on the Lord and his conversation. Wait, you guys have skills that evolved? We don't even have that. I have my special explosion skill but it didn't evolve yet Hidaka looked at me. I think he wants me to he his teacher or something. Go to the skills shop in Welsia and ask for an intelligence skill like great sage or great wise man and ask the shopkeeper for skill combination and then you will be able to evolve and combine your skills with other skills to form stronger skills. Okay, I understand. I will tell the rest of our classmates the information then. One. Plot of the local lord too. After the lord finished looking through our house Hannah came back to us to tell everything she heard. It's bad Hikaru she whispered to me. What is it? What happened? I whispered back while covering Hidaka's mouth. 
Well, from what I heard there will be patrols here so that they will see who uses the house and what not. They will entrust this to people from the Welsia Magic Academy if so, this could work in our favor. I might need to warn you Hikaru, the classmates that you want will likely won't be put on this job. You are lucky if even just one of them is put on guard here. They made too big of a ruckus wanting to bring the two of you back. You are right Sia, what can we do to defend ourselves? When talking to Sia I always talk in my mind with her. Hannah can now hear Sia as well so I don't have to explain the same thing twice to her. I do understand but what are we going to do now? We can't get into the house. He is still there waiting for a surprise attack I looked again and I can see glimpses of the Lord hiding near our house to catch us off. Guard and surprise attack us. Attacking them isn't recommended in this situation Hikaru. You will cause big problems for yourself going forward if you decide to attack now rather than later. I suggest that you wait here and don't move until he leaves. It's the best suggestion that I can come up with. Let's wait here until they leave and then we will come back to OU house. Four hours later the Lord Nad his minions left and the three of us returned to the house. I detect no traps. The place is safe and you can enter in it without any problems. You need to be careful. From tomorrow you might see your old classmates patrolling around here. I know Sia but what can we do to stop the Lord? I mean I know what I got to do to stop him but how do I get away with it? In that moment an idea sprung to my mind. Maybe I should make it look like a murder-suicide. You have the correct answer already. You can make potent poison with your predator skill. I will gather the information about the Lord's rival and then we can prepare to strike him down. We will arrange a meeting spot for the two of them and then we can kill them. But first we need preparations in order to do this. Preparations, yeah, we might need those first. But what are those preparations you are talking about Sia? I am talking about a good enough moment for you two to let yourselves get caught by his guards and then tell him that you can get revenge on his political rival and then tell him to give you five days. You will then get the needed herbs to make a potent poison that you will then put it in his rival's glass of wine and then you can. Make the two of them fight and have the rival kill him with his own two hands instead of getting your own hands dirty. Sia, that's the perfect plan. Guys, wait, don't do that. Hannah came in to talk with Sia. Why, that our only way to do it Hannah. If he won't let us live then he shouldn't be treated any better than what he treated us. It seems fair to me. Don't worry, you won't take part in any of these. I will be the one to make hard decisions as we already said. This is one of the harder decisions that I have to make for our sake Hannah. You don't know what the Lord might have in store for us if we live longer than what he expects us to. Hannah started to silently cry in front of us. What happened to Hannah? What were you guys talking about? Hidaka whispered to us. It's better you down slash to get involved. Go back to the academy or the guild and tell what happened to the other. And then maybe they can get stationed here instead of the others who will snitch on us, got it? I whispered back to Hidaka. Yes, understood Hidaka left, and I remained with Hannah to discuss what will happen going forward with the Lord. I don't know Hikaru. I am pretty fearful of what will happen if we fail this. I know it's our only option but still. I don't want to kill people or someone to die Hannah looked at me from her bed with sad eyes. I know Hannah, but you need to know, this is the sort of world that we live in right now, there is no turning back now. The king already hates us because of our race and that's fucked up. There are more things that you need to face out here. It's a jungle. This world is medieval and has no knowledge of things such as equality and stuff that we have in our original world. You need to remember that in this world we only have ourselves and the other classmates that are willing to help us. But we can't trust the rest. I know Hikaru, but I still don't want anything bad to happen to anyone. I don't know what to say any more about this situation Hannah looked at the ground. Well it's no problem. I will be the one to do it so you won't get your hands dirty. Just be careful. I left the cabin. See ya where are the poison ingredients that you want me to collect? They are by that river where I extracted the iron from. You can find plenty there. I walked to the river as Asai suggested. I am there looking around finding all kinds of herbs and different shaped rocks that look like they have other sorts of minerals in them. Which one of these is the good one Sia? I pointed to a bunch of plants. The red one Sia guided my view towards the red flower. Use skill. Predator I use predator to devour the flowers. Sia, can you craft the poison? I asked them while returning to the cabin. Doing that right now. 
I turn the flowers into a fine powder that will kill someone in minutes without them noticing it. That's good, now we have to wait for some time and then get caught. After that I make him the offer and then we enact the plan. I return to the cabin. Hannah is sleeping already. Looking at her wet pillow she had cried herself to sleep. I don't understand why she wants no one to get killed. Even in Japan people died and got killed no matter what they done. Well, in our world we had laws to protect citizens. Here we only have medieval anarchy that reigns supreme every day. I am already sick of this world. 1. Encounter 3. One day after the Lord and his guards started to patrol, we need to be careful when we go out of our house or when we enter it. There might a trap at every corner of the house I looked at Hannah while she was cooking something. Well, I don't really like where this is going Hikaru. This whole thing about the Lord and us killing him I think it is going too far in my opinion. Hannah turned around and looked at me saddened. Well, don't worry too much things like these. I will be the one dealing with them. You won't have to get your hands dirty ever again I looked at Hannah again. I got out of the bed and walked up to her to see what she is cooking. She is making a vegetable stir fry with wolf meat. In the last days or weeks I got kind of sick of wolf meat and I don't even know how monster spawns work in this forest. The monsters spawn in every season differently. No we are in spring so you will see a lot of wolves since the more dangerous monsters are migrating towards more temperate reagents. You don't need to worry about other monsters monsters right now such as ghouls, aork and juggernauts. What are aorks and juggernauts? Hannah asked via the telepathic link. Aork is the feral version of an orc. Orcs are sentient but aorks aren't an attack on instinct. Juggernauts are giant version of an ogre. Most of these monsters at a minimum of level 20. It will help you evolve faster since you need 20 times the express to evolve to level 30 and 40. So, that means there are other versions of monsters that aren't sentient? Are there non-sentient demons? Hannah got the pan out of the fire and placed food for the two of us to eat. Yes, those are called imps. There were other version but those were exterminated long time ago. Sia, can you tell us how things will work out with the local lord? I mean is this plan even going to work? Won't the king want our heads? Negative, he already wants your heads. This plan will work by the next set of rules. 1. Offer the lord help with a political rival. 2. Make the rival kill the lord. We will need to give him a reason to 3. Kill the rival using the poisoned wine. That looks like something out of a book with mafia gangs Hannah arranged the table. Well, sounds like it. Anyway, we need to get to Welsia soon. The guards will start patrolling again if we are not careful. I looked out of my window to see Hidaka and Ryu outside with other three classmates. All of them on our side. Who is their Hikaru? Hannah asked me too scared to look out of the window. Just the people that are on our side from the academy. Hidaka, Ryu, Yuzuru, Hinatsuru and Naomi. Those are the people who will be searching for us. I hope they don't switch sides. Negative, I don't think they will do such a thing to you, they already fear you and your power as a demon, and they won't dare to double cross you in any circumstance. They are barely able to get to level 6, and you two are levels 24 and 18. Even if they were to betray you, the two of you will be able to defeat them with ease. I don't want things to come to this when it's about our classmates Hannah said to us telepathically. I do understand but we might have no real choice in this matter anyway. They were the ones that chose to oppose us in the first place. Hannah is currently not feeling well Hikaru. It is apparent that you don't know how to talk to girls. Neither with me or Hannah you managed to get something out of either of us. Until now I feel no real attachment or connection to you. Hannah is your friend and will unfortunately continue to be this way if you continue to act this fucking stupid and oblivious to everything just like you always do. Hikaru, Sia disconnected Hannah for a bit and talked only to me. What did Sia tell you? It looks like you don't look upset I didn't even see where Hannah is. She is holding a hand my check and one hand patting my head. Crap, Sia what do I do now? Why don't I know what to do? I disconnected Hannah for a second. Answer, you are a virgin eye sky protagonist from the light novels you read. Congratulations, you became what you dreamed of in your last world. Sia said in a mocking robotic tone. Sia. Look I am sorry Hannah started to laugh out loud. Wait, she was connected? Sia connected her while talking to me. Great, now Sia disconnected me and I can't hear her talking to Hannah. Both of them are now talking about me behind my back. Hannah starts laughing harder. What happened are you guys okay? 
Hidaka entered the house and saw Hannah on the floor laughing. Yes, we are okay. Hannah is just having a laughing fit. You can enter if you want. I need to use my real voice while talking to them since they don't have a skill that will allow me to do that. Yeah, I am okay. I just laughed a lot at a joke about Hikaru. What did Sia tell her exactly? Wait, who is telling the joke? Do you guys have some sort of linked ability like the Great Sage ability and that allow it to generate jokes or something? Hidaka looked at us perplexed. Well, yes and no. This is a thing we would like to keep secret between the two of us. I started to eat my portion of stir fry. Hannah did the same and the of us invited more people over. I had to cook this time. I didn't know what to make so I made some pancakes but that's about it. So, what brings you guys here? I asked them while sitting in the corner of the house. Well, we asked the king to repent and he assigned us to your house so we can find the two of you and bring you to the king for execution. But we won't do that. We can say that you two are the best at hiding or whatnot. Hidaka looked pleased while eating my pancakes. Well, it's not too late for you two to do something about that lord. He is a total pervert and picks on the girl heroes at the academy trying to find a reason to punish them every time. What's worse he offered us to become his servants as well. I want that guy gone Naomi shared her opinion with the group. Who doesn't want him gone? All of the people there are using him as a shield to do all the nasty things possible. We must put a stop to him Hidaka talked, making Naomi's point stronger. Yes, but you do realize that none of us have the strength to do anything here, let alone kill the local lord ourselves. We are barely level 7 and out stats haven't gone up one bit. I wonder how you two are doing in term of levels. We are lagging behind on gaining EXP. Ryu is leaning against one of the walls of our house. Well, I am level 24 and Hannah is level 18. Here are our stats. I opened my stats screen and showed them our stats. All of them are looking at us mouth agaki. Well, with those stats you will be able to beat any monster that will migrate here in the forest in no time. Do you know a way for us to get as strong as the two of you are right now? Naomi looked at us with puppy eyes and admiration. Yes, we do know a way. And that way is real combat experience. Training helps but you won't have your stats go up just by training. You need real fighting experience that is live or death. That's why the people at the academy force you to join the Adventures Guild early on so that your stats can be trained. I noticed that Sia is silent. Wait, what happened to her? Note that heroes gain higher stats in proportion with the monster that they defeat. Heroes are best dealt with at a low level rather than a higher level. Phew, there she is. Look Sia, I am sorry. I should have been more considerate. Apology accepted. Try to be better with Hannah. If you treat her the same it won't lead to anything good between the two of you. I just gave you a warning. They stayed at our house until it was night. They left and gone back to the academy. Me and Hannah remained there. Hey Hannah, what did Sia tell you about me that got you laughing this much? I looked at her. She grabbed my left hand. It was about you are your past. She told me all of your insecurities and cracked a few jokes about you. I turned my back to go to bed. Hannah is still holding on to my left hand. Doesn't matter, go get some sleep. Wait, I wasn't laughing at your insecurities. It's normal to have them Hikaru. I laughed at the joke. I know this isn't a great excuse but... But please, let things remain the same between the two of us. I don't want you to get upset on Mimi and Hannah both sat on the bed. You are insecure about the fact that you will lose your friends. Abandonment issues I don't know why I said that but the realization was ugly. I know that Hannah's parents had abandoned her when she was little. Our family well. They took her in. We grew up together. We are the same age right now. They never officially adopted her or anything. The thing was that my parents and theirs were good friends and decided to take care of Hannah after the two of them vanished. I don't even know how to explain this in a better way. Yes, what about it? I think you know all my insecurities so far Hikaru. I mean we grew up together and such. To me you are like an older brother. And that always took care of me Hannah leaned in closer to me. I detect lying in what Hannah says. If you haven't figured it out yet she is interested in you Hikaru. Hannah was disconnected by Sia just to tell me this. Well we are the same age Hannah. Don't say that I took care of you. I didn't do anything that great. Most of my life I complained rather than do something I looked at the bead sheet. Hannah got a hand on my chin and made me look straight at her. It's okay Hikaru. Don't worry about it. Hannah pulled me in a thigh hug. I don't think I even deserve this from Hannah of all people. 
Thank you I can't say no to her at this point. Hikaru, why won't you just sit here? Hannah made me sleep the night in her lap. She fell asleep with her left hand on my head. The next day when we woke up it feels like tension had been released from our bodies. A tension we didn't know we even had to begin with. Tomorrow it's a new day, so will be the rest of the days to come. I can only say one things, we must do everything we can in this world to survive and accomplish our dream. If we become demon lords then this world will see better days than it ever will. 2. Insecurity Sakaru 1. 4 years ago, Tokyo, Japan. Everything is told via flashback. Hikaru, how are you? Hannah asked me in a playful tone. We are living in our house in Tokyo with our parents. Well it's more complicated for Hannah. She is staying at us because her parents are gone in another country. Or so did my parents told me. From what I know they are very best friends with each other. And they agreed to take Hannah under our care. Well I am good I can see something behind Hannah. I don't know exactly what that was but it didn't scare me. It was something of a distorted shape. It is humanoid but nothing more I can make of it. I can hear pouting coming from upstairs. That's good Hannah looked at me strangely. I was looking up from where I heard the sounds, the attic. I can hear something from the attic, want to come and check it out. I got up from the place I was seated. Hannah followed me to the attic. Once we opened the door we saw that there was nothing there, strange. Maybe it was a cat or something. But how did a cat get in here? To me that's daily life. I sometimes see things and shapes nobody can or hear things that nobody else hears. It's strange. Memory in the doctor's office. So your child, these things may be the result of an overactive imagination. He is 14 but he may still have that little kid imagination still. Which is a good thing the doctor was obviously nervous. She prescribed me some medicine. When I got out of the chair and looked around I can see the wall closing in onto me. I sat down and panicked. What was happening? Why were the walls moving so suddenly? Hikaru, what happened? My mom walked near me, looking at me with sadness. The walls, I swear they started to move on their own. My mom looked around and didn't see anything out of the ordinary. There is nothing to be afraid. Walls don't move, my dad reassured me. Thanks you Miss Doctor I didn't know her name. I kept calling her Miss Doctor but oh well. Back in the real world. I didn't know what happened back then neither now. Or what the shape behind Hannah or what is was. I don't even know how to word things right. Hikaru, don't be sad I am sure it was just a cat we are still at the attic door looking around to see what was there to see. I don't know what we are looking for exactly but for certain is something that makes either a pounding noise or a thumping noise. That's what I have heard a few minutes ago. Well, yeah, let's get down from here. Mom and Dad will be back shortly, and we need to get ready for dinner. Mom and Dad arrived shortly after. They were out working all day today, and they still have time to cook food for us. We are now having dinner. I am sitting at the table, and I can feel someone touching me. A hand of some sorts. I turn around, and there is no one. Hannah, did you touch me? I felt someone touch me just a few moments ago my parents looked at me nervously. It's like they are hiding something and they don't know what to say about it. I don't know either what it might be that I have that makes me see all of these things that I see. It's nothing Hikaru. I want you to focus on eating right now okay. You might be bewildered too as it's happening right now but you shouldn't worry. The doctor said that things will get better for you if you are taking your medication daily my mom smiled at us. She wants to let some tension off but it does work with me. It's not that easy. Yes mom, but things like these are what is stopping me in my day-to-day -day life. It's pretty bad already and I don't even know what I have. Can you please at least tell me? I know you two were talking to the medic in private. I want to know what my affliction is. We don't want to talk about it with you. You are still young and we don't know how to tell you my dad said these words very fast. I am Finside. I will be going to my room I finished my food and I had gone to my room. Hikaru, why are you so mad at your mom and dad? Hannah walked near me and patted my head. I don't know Hannah. I don't know. I want to know what exactly I have. Why do I have to take meds for such a long amount of time? The doctors say it's imagination. But I don't believe them. I had been seeing them for a long time and still no answer to this day. I was angry in that moment, angry at everyone, including Hannah. It's okay Hikaru Hannah comforted me by hugging me. What shall we do next? Yes, what shall I do next? In the ice sky world. Sia, why did you have to show things like that to Hannah again? 
I ask her angry at her for what she has done. The answer is simple, stop being insecure. These things are far smaller than you make then out OTB Hikaru. It's not that big of a deal when things like that happen. You know, you can benefit from some self-confidence from time to time Hikaru. Sia's tone wasn't mocking but more protective and motherly this time. Hannah, what shall we do tomorrow? About the Lord and stuff, shall we let ourselves get caught this early or shall we wait for a little more time? I am near Hannah, trying to see what she will say. She already heard me talk to Sia. Just get some rest Hikaru, you can benefit from it greatly. I will be on the lookout and we will switch when one of us gets tired okay. Hannah smiled and I returned to sleep. Zero. Insecurities Hannah, one. Hannah's POV. Four years ago before getting Ice Guy, I was living in a big house with Hikaru. I didn't know where my parents were at that time or what happened to them. I don't know to this day but what I can assume happened is they left me when I was young. Hikaru's family became my foster family since I was little. Hikaru and I didn't grow up as seeing each other as siblings though. Hey Hannah, how are you? I am now at school, drifting off in my thoughts. There is this girl in the front desk, Karara. I get along with her pretty well, you can say we are best friends. I am okay. I just thought about something I looked down and made it look like I was looking through a book or something similar. You sure you don't seem like it well? She can see through me, huh? The main thing that is on my mind is my real parents. What have they done? Why did they leave me here? Where are they now? I can't keep relying on Hikaru's parents. You are right, there are things that are on my mind. But I don't want to talk about them right now. The class will start soon. Maybe in one of the breaks if you are up for it. I looked at Karara. We both stared at each other for a while. Sure, she said turning away from my desk. I looked around the class again before the teacher could come. I can see Hikaru. He is staying in a corner of the classroom. He is laughing all by himself staring at a wall. Things with Hikaru are special to say the least. He sees shadows or voice when no one is talking. He often speaks in ineligible sentences that no one will understand. But he is trying his best at school every day of the week. The class wasn't fun, like most classes are. I mostly stared at the teacher and noted down boring information. Well most of that information is useful for me down the road but the way it is being told is very boring. The class has passed, me and Kirara had gone to the rooftop one of the most infamous places in our school. Every year on this rooftop a student roof this school commits suicide, the principal does nothing about it, it seems like she doesn't care. She managed to cover up a lot of the things that happen at this school. I don't know for how long will she manage to hide all of them. She put a fence on it but that fence isn't even properly placed since students can get over the fence or under the fence with ease. So, what is it that is bothering you Hannah? Me and Karara gone to the furthest part of the rooftop to have a conversation on, away from everyone else that is there. Well, it's about my biological parents. You don't really know how I live or what family takes care of me right now do you? No. I don't know Karara leaned in closer to me. I live with Hikaru's family. They are my foster family. They took care of me for a long time. Since I was little Karara had a shocked expression. So you and Hikaru grew up together. I never thought that weirdo had a sister like you. Why does she call Hikaru a weirdo? Why do you call Hikaru a weirdo? I am curious. Most of the people seems to think that something is wrong about him. I looked at Karara with a serious expression. Well I guess since you lived with him everything that he does may seem normal to you but to us. It's very weird. He hears voices. He sees things that aren't there. It's very odd and not normal to be this way Hannah. I am sorry to break it to you but Hikaru isn't normal. He is very odd Karara whispered to my ear. I know already that those things aren't normal. But that doesn't make him unusual or anything. These problems can be treated from what I know. I don't like how people treat Hikaru I whispered back to Karara. Well I can't comprehend the way you think, but anything goes I guess. Now back to the real topic, your parents, do you not know anything about them? I got closer to Karara as more people came to the same part of the roof. Well from what I know they have abandoned me and I don't know where they. I don't have the slightest idea of what happened to them. Hikaru's parents always told me that they don't know what happened to them that they just vanished into thin air. That's what they said I looked up at the sky. I don't want to make eye contact with anyone here. I don't want any unwanted attention. Well that does sound like they abandoned you. I don't know why would they do that. 
Or maybe they were kidnapped or died during a horrible event. That may also be true. The bell rang. Me and Karara gone back to class. After class is done, I am walking home with Hikaru. He's looking left and right. He is paranoid of being followed home. It's okay Hikaru. No one is following you. I promise I will keep watch. Please rest easy I don't like seeing him like this at all. This illness that he has and doctors wouldn't even tell him what he has. If he is told what he has we can at least rest easy knowing his condition and how to treat it. If you say so. I am still going to look from time to time just to make sure Hikaru walked a little closer to me. When he is at home Hikaru always wants to be isolated from society. I barely can do anything about it. He is pretty neutral about me entering his room. Sure. But don't bother yourself too much I am the one bothering myself with two things at once now. Where my parents are in Hikaru's illness that I have to deal with. We reached home, we changed and we gone straight to learning. Hikaru paused for a bit and looked at. He put his right hand on my left shoulder. I am sorry Hannah, I know you have to deal with a lot. I am aware I am bothering you huh, how did he? Well you aren't bothering me. It's just too much for me to deal with right now I didn't notice it but I began to cry. I know about your parents as well. I have no idea what happened to them either. But I am sorry for any problems I have personally caused to you I turned away from Hikaru so he couldn't see me cry. I need a break from all of this. If you want to be alone I will leave you to it. I will go and learn in my room. No I want you to stay here. I was silently crying. It was a slower cry. I want to discharge as much emotion as possible. I leaned on Hikaru's shoulder and I continued to cry for a while, until I got sleepy and feel asleep. Hikaru's POV, current day in the other world. Sia, why did you have to remind me of this? Note that your emotional intelligence is higher now because you no longer suffer from schizophrenia. Also your mental functions are normal right now because you were reincarnated here. Yes, but still that doesn't answer my question. I gave you that memory to make you feel better about yourself. Still doesn't help much. Anyway, tomorrow is a new day. We will need to gather everything we can and make a move on the local lord. Zero. Plot of the local lord. Three. The next day. Hannah and I have gotten some rest. But we are in a dire need of making a move on the local lord. If we continue like this we might end up dead or worse. Hikaru, what do you think we should do next? It's about the house. Doesn't it seem a little cramped? I looked around the house, it isn't cramped really, but it's barely enough for two people, maybe more storage options will be good. I don't get what you are saying Hannah, it's good enough for two people, we do lack storage for other items, my spatial storage is already getting pretty cramped, you aren't getting it, I mean we need more comfort here, don't you think the beds are too rough to sleep on or the windows let in too much cold when it's night, I mean. Yes we are monsters and we aren't really affected by these conditions but still. I took a look at the beds, the windows. Hannah is right. We should invest in this house a little more since we are staying here for a long time. Well let's go to Welsia and go to one of the shops there and try to get some items from there. I set the windows myself using Predator and Sia. Are there any other things we should change in our house? Looking around again I can see the wood deteriorating. We need some substance that will stop wood decay. I don't remember what is it called. Yes, the wood and the flooring. We need new wood and flooring well that's a lot. We need to get to Welsia quickly then. We need to buy a lot of things me and Hannah got going to Welsia city. The city had another atmosphere to it this time around. It felt more dead, more monotone than before. Well before the city had the atmosphere of a normal medieval city. Hikaru, I have a bad feeling about this. We need to be careful Hannah drew her katana and looked around. I couldn't see anything either. I prepared my shadow tendrils in a defensive formation around me. Whoever you are, show yourself. There is another strange thing. On the streets there is no one to be seen. It's already high noon and no one is present. We walked to one of the shops, to the blacksmith. We entered the shop and the shopkeeper was surprised to see us. What brings you two here at a time like this? He looked at us in shock, as if no one was supposed to be here. What do you mean? I was ready to attack with my shadow tendrils. The man looked at us one more time. It looks like he is holding something behind the counter where we can't see it. Well, the local lord had decreed lockdown on this whole town to find the two of you. He sent his strongest guards after the two of you. You two better leave kids, those guards are very strong. 
The man pointed to the door. Fine, we will leave we left, and we are out in the open again. What are we going to do now? Since all the shops are closed why not return home? I looked around again. I can feel someone watching us. Affirmative, someone is indeed watching you. There are two people, male and female. That's all the information I can gather. Sia finally decided to speak. Well, it will be more likely that they will follow us. Sia, make sure to announce me when they get closer. Affirmative. The tension can be felt in the air. I am not turning my head around to look. That will give it away that we are onto them and that we know where they are. The two people got ahead of you and are now near your cabin. That's the furthest distance I can detect them at. Fuck, they realize that we are living in the cabin. Someone must have tipped them off. Because I don't know who in the hell will find this cabin right here in the middle of nowhere. Hannah, please be careful. You know what Sia said I suggest you at least have your sword ready to be drawn when needed. I communicate with Hannah exclusively through telepathy right now. Verbal speech had become deprecated for us since we have skill that will do that same thing but better. I suggest you two stop right there. We just want to talk with you two when we arrived at the cabin we can hear a woman's voice speak. We stopped and saw the man and the woman that Sia warned us about. So you two are the guards that are after us huh? I stepped in front of Hannah. I have made the two of them immobile using my shadow tendrils. They didn't notice it yet. Yes, exactly. I want the two of you to introduce yourselves to us. They tried to move towards us but they noticed they can't move. What is this magic? They tried to move again but with no luck. I cast that just to make sure that if any of you try anything funny we will have the upper hand I replied. Fine, just get the introduction over with the two of them said in a calm tone. I am Hikaru Tanaka. I am Hannah Tamura. The two people looked at Hannah bewildered. Tamura you say? They paused for a second and they dropped to their knees. We are sorry. You two better be. What in the hell have the two of us done to you people to deserve to be hunted? I itch closer to the woman. It's a long story and you may not believe it. But we are Hannah's parents. The real ones that vanished from the real world the two of the said in a sad tone. Mom, Dad? Hannah wanted to come closer to them. But I stopped her. What if they are lying? Sia? Negative. They are telling the truth. I matched both them and Hannah and it's a 100% match for each of them. They are her real parents Hikaru. After Sia said this I got out of the way and let Hannah talk with her long lost parents. We gone into the cabin afterward. Again I am sorry Hikaru. And thank you for taking care of Hannah. Hannah can take care of herself. Strength in numbers. I did help her but most of the growth she has experienced is because of her efforts I am sitting at the table. Legs crossed and looking out of the window. You praise me too much Hikaru. Without your skills I would have been in a much worse position by now Hannah took a seat in the middle, between me and her mother. Without you this house, and even the food will be much worse I replied. I am happy to see the two of you get along so well. I will begin to tell the story of how me and your father ended up in this place. I will let him start Hannah's mother pointed towards her father. Well, where to begin? The short version is that you were just born and we were mugged in the street. We were killed during that time and during our last moments on earth we asked to be reincarnated here. We received some skills to help us develop. I think each one of us have one legendary skill. How did the two of you end up here? Her father looked towards me. Well, it's my fault that we ended up here. In my life back in Japan I had paranoid schizophrenia. I hated my life. I hated the illness and what it made me do. So one day at school after I had a psychotic episode one decided to jump off the roof. Hannah followed. She tried to stop me from falling down but in the end the two of us died and got reincarnated he as monsters. We received two primordial skills and three random skills, five in total. We woke up in the same summoning circle as our class was. The moment we died our whole class was summoned here to fight a war with demons. There was a minute of silence before Hannah's mother looked at me with anger. She tried to slap me but Hannah caught her hand in time. Mom, it's not needed. I already been over this with him a million times. Things got awkward from there, and then they left. We will report nothing to the Lord, we will come tomorrow. I hope you have a plan to deal with the Lord before he deals with you too that's the last thing they said before leaving. Zero. Making a move, one. One day after we meet Hannah's parents. Hannah is still shocked that she meet her original parents in this new world. I never thought that we will actually meet them. The first time I thought that they are bluffing. 
But they did come back again and had brought photos of Hannah when she was little, well, not really little, a little before she was born. Now you see, we are truly your parents they came back again today. This time they were a little calmer when talking to me than yesterday. Yes, but you didn't need to bring so much proof. Mom, Dad, there is something we need to tell you about the local Lord Hannah pointed towards me. Well, we plan to make a move on him today. We want the two of you to take us to his mansion, and then we will chat from there with him. I have an offer that he can't refuse. I am sure of it. Well, if you so wish. But Hannah better stay here. I don't want her getting hurt. Hannah's father got up from then chair and came to seat near me. Dad, I can take care of myself. If you want to test me we can have a serious battle right now. And then you can see our strength. Well, it wouldn't hurt to see how strong are the two of you. I guess I give in. We will have a mock battle. 2v2 to see who is stronger. If you can keep up with our attacks then we will let you go with Hikaru. He is the higher level weight. Can these people see my level? Of course, they have an appraisal skill. I am only showing the level and not the other stats. Sia confirmed. One more thing I would like to clarify. You two said you were reincarnated here as monsters. But you two look very human to me. Hannah's mom looked at us very closely. Yes, we are using a disguise. It's one of my two primordial skills, called Lord of Deceit and Lies Lucifer. It allows me to shape shift and not be detected. It works very well. That's why we were able to get into Welsia without being noticed. I turned off the skill for a bit. Hannah's parents saw my growing horn and looked at Hannah's horns as well. Well, what are your monster races then? Wait, they don't know? I am a orc. Current evolution state is greater orc. Hannah's parents touched her horns. Nothing happened. And you Hikaru, your horns seem a little bigger but they are still small. I am a demon. I evolved from a lesser demon. When Hannah's parents tried to touch my blue horn they started to shiver. But when they touched my black horn their hands seemed to disappear to other people. That sure is interesting. So, a demon and an orc. Well, this situation is dire. But we don't really have time to lose. Let's start the mock battle. We gone outside the cabin to have our small mock battle with her parents. I don't know why would they want to battle again after what happened the first time. But this time I have a better idea. I should let Hannah do more this fight. Yeah. I won't use my shadow tendril this time. I want a real challenge. Okay. Are you kids ready? They both drawn their swords and come at us full force. Hannah drew her katana and managed to parry both of them in one hit. I draw my shadow sword. How are you going to fight with? An invisible weapon? Hannah's dad laughed. Yeah, I said in a serious tone. I charged at him, dodged, and when I struck his sword, my sword had gone straight through his sword cutting it in two. What the hell? He looked at his broken sword. Well, seems like you have no weapon. I win. I won as well Hikaru I turned to look at Hannah. She's overwhelming her mom with katana slashes. After ten more seconds she managed to disarm her. Well seems like the two of you won this battle the two of them laughed and patted us on the shoulders. Well what are you waiting for? Let's go to the Lord and have that deal with him that you talked about Hikaru. Me and Hannah's parents are traveling to the local Lord's mansion. On the road there we can see a carriage being attacked. The four of us got there in time to see who is it in that carriage. There are around ten bandits in there. Quite a lot if you asked me. You two stay here. We will deal with it. Those bandits are at least level ten. We are on the same level. For us it won't be long are they kidding me? Look, we never told you or shown our real stats. But here they are I showed Hannah's parents our real stats. They are left shocked and mouth agati. I will go and deal with them. Since I am the highest level out of them all I jumped at one of the bandits with my shadow sword, slicing his head off. There were two or three behind me. I used my shadow tendrils to stab them in the head. Use skill. Ice magic. Ice javelin rain since I have my ice mastery skill I rained down a few ice javelins on them. Only two bandits remain alive. I used my shadow hand to reach out into their heart and pop it. It's all safe now I signaled for the others to come. I looted the bandits and they had nothing of value. Well, it's strange. It's the first time that I have killed someone and I felt nothing about it. It's so strange. It's because you are a monster Hikaru. Both you and Hannah have the same effect. On people that have committed crimes such as bandits you don't gain guilt. It's a monster innate trait. 
I don't know how you managed but that was spectacular Hannah's dad praised me. I don't know but killing isn't spectacular. Hikaru killed 10 people like it was nothing. I am now very worried Hannah's mom glared at me furiously. Mom, it's okay. Hikaru decided that he will be the one to make the hard choices when it comes to making them. We looked into the carriage to see a little girl. She is looking at us scared. Wait, I know why. I forgot to reactivate our disguise. I reactivated it and entered the carriage. What happened here? I asked her while looking at her face. Are you here to kill me as well? She managed to mutter that under her breath. She is small cute. And why am I thinking that? The answer is, you are a lolicon. I can Hannah laugh over the telepathy skill. No, we aren't here to kill you. Who are you anyway and why would we want to kill you? I sat in the carriage near her while I signaled at the others to come in. Hannah's dad got in the front having to deal with the horses. Is it because of my dad? I swear I would make him remove the order to find and kill you. But please don't do anything to me. She bowed down to us. Sia? She is the daughter of the local lord. So you are his daughter, huh? Well, the only person we have a grudge against is your dad, not you. So you should rest easy I looked at her smiling. I think that creep her out more than anything. So you won't kill me? But what are you going to do with my father? I mean, I know he will die the way. But is there something I can do for you? I do feel guilty of what he has done to the two of you. She mustered the courage to look at us. Don't worry. If he cooperates with us, we won't kill him. Actually, we just want to overthrow him and put someone else in his position. Maybe we can even put you there since you are his daughter. What do you say? She looked at me again, confused. Well, my dad is very ill. He would die anyway in a few weeks if what the doctors said it's true. But if I ever become lord there, I promise not to bother the two of you she is very scared. I don't know how much will I have to repeat this to myself. If you become lord, we might even visit you from time to time. Well, that seems like a good idea. We will discuss more once we are at my dad's mansion. Zero. Making a move too. Traveling in the carriage with the lord's daughter. So, what is your name? The lord's daughter is still afraid of us. She is talking from fear more than anything. I am Fumiko. She muttered scared. I am Hikaru, and she is Hannah. I pointed towards each one of us. So, Fumiko, you said your dad is sick, right? So, how can he still function normally while being that sick? You told me he only has a few months left, isn't that right? I tried to be more comforting towards her. Not months, at most two weeks. Well, he wants to get the hunt for you two done as quickly as possible. He even wanted me to charm one of you to come with me at the Masni and she looked away from us. Well, it doesn't matter. We have an offer that your father won't be able to refuse, you will see. It's a big offer, and he will overlook everything. Maybe get him some medicine while we are at it. I smiled at Fumiko. This gesture just creeped her out more. You would do that for me? Well, no, not really. Only in a special where the Lord is our puppet and we can manipulate him somehow into doing our bidding. That's the only way that I will try to cure him. I better go with the plan that Sia suggested. Hikaru, don't you think that you are making promises too quick? No. Hannah, listen, we need her on our side. The more the merrier the two of us spoke through the telepathic link. I don't know if I should trust the two of you with something like. I mean, you two are monsters after all. I don't know if I can trust an orc let alone a demon Fumiko is still looking at us. She brought her hands over her face. Well, what makes us monsters so evil in the first place? The fact that we exist. I never understood this about humans. We are always evil when we haven't done anything. Listen here Fumiko. Evil is more human than it is monstrous she peeked at me through a crack in her hands. My parents always told me that demons and other monsters are bad and that I may end up losing my life if I ever talk or meet one of them Fumiko mustered the courage to look me in the eyes. And you are going to blindly believe that? I do agree. Some monsters are dangerous and you should stay away. But those like me and Hannah, why should you fear us? You know why monsters like me and Hannah might do bad or evil things? I asked her with a smile of my face. I tried to reach my hand forward but she covered her head with her hands. No, I don't know. Just please, don't do anything to me. I placed my hand on her hands and started to hold them. We won't. I will give you the answer. It's because humans like your dad are bothering and always demonizing us for the way we look or how we are labeled. In fact, we are just as human as you are Fumiko. Think about it. 
if your dad and the king wouldn't want us dead and we would have lived a normal life here, would all of this happen? She took a second to think about it. It looks like this sentence shook her whole world and the way she looks at things. I guess I wouldn't she pause for a few moments. It's okay Fumiko. Hikaru, let's change places. I will deal with it for now. Fumiko started crying and Hana allowed her to cry on her shoulder. I don't know how old Fumiko is but she looks very young. She is currently 22. Wait, she is that old? Hana and I are barely 18 years old and she is 22 already and acts like that. She is 22 and acts like that. I expected more out of her if she was an adult. Does she have some type of condition of something that doesn't allow her mind to develop past 12 years old? That's not a nice thing to say Hikaru. Hana berated me over the telepathic link. She has a similar condition. She is a human with absurdly high magic reserves and it has an impact over her mind. Humans can have huge mana reserves like you and Hana do and they get overwhelmed easily when it comes to the amount of mana they can handle. So the rest goes to the brain. It helps some brain functions like calculation and thinking but it stops mental age development or slows it down significantly. Well that explains it. A few minutes later we arrived at the Lord's Mansion. This mansion is huge. Everywhere I can see decoration of any sort that I can imagine. Fumiko, where have you been? Wait, these two? And you? You were supposed to kill them? What happened? What did you do to Fumiko? The same man, the Lord, now more sickly than when I last saw him waited for her daughter at the door of the mansion. Dad, I am okay. They are actually nice. The Lord is pondering something. We have something to discuss with you, Lord. We have an offer you won't be able to refuse. We will chat more in private the looked at me perplexed. What do you want with me, if this involves Fumiko? Fine, you win. Let's get in the house and talk things over. He opened the door to the mansion and signaled the guards to be on high alert. The interior of the mansion is just as huge as the outside of the mansion. The lights were of different colors and different room from what I can see. The rooms are separate but linked through the attic. Every room we passed had the same attic hatch. One of them were opened and I can't see any space between. That must mean everything is linked through the attic, huh? Please take Fumiko somewhere else. The Lord had commanded the guards to take Fumiko. She is near Hannah. The Lord looks at her and me in disgust. I want Hannah to come with me as well. Fumiko didn't budge and still holds on to Hannah. Why would you want a monster to come with you dear? Don't you remember what I told you about monsters my dear child? The Lord coughed a few drops of blood. Yes, most of it was fake. Hikaru and Hana are nice people. They didn't hurt me. They saved me from bandits. My carriage was attacked and the driver killed and they wanted to hurt me. But Hikaru came in and killed the bandits and saved me. At that time I was going to speak with them just like you instructed me. If you didn't take this stupid request from the king maybe these things wouldn't have happened in the first place dad. Fumiko screamed at her father, not letting go of Hannah's arm. What in my the hell did you say happen? I can't believe that a monster is capable of compassion. They must have an alternative reason for this. Fine, you and your monster can go. Fumiko and Hannah gone to another room. The two of them can be heard playing or reading books. I am interested in your offer demon, the lord said in a threatening tone. Well, my offer pertains to one of your political rivals. Another lord from a further away city from here that has been giving you trouble. I know a way to get rid of them. Are you interested now? He looked at me again and leaned in. Yes, I am. I know demons are good at killing and torturing. So what can you do? I might be willing to drop the quest from the two of you and say that you are too strong for my army, he whispered to me. This bastard, I got him. Well, I won't torture him. Torture seems pointless for this situation. Just inviting him to dinner her and making it look like he chalked on some food is a good alternative. I have the exact method on how we will do that I whispered back to the Lord. Oh, that sounds interesting. How are you going to do it? He asked curiously. Well, I have my methods. I won't say them right now. But I can assure you that he will die. You just have to invite him here. Go along with what he says and agree with him and have good relations and then he will die by chalking on a piece of food. How does that sound you? He looks at me a little skeptical. Well, sure. He lives in the city of Ikril. It's a two days on carriage away from here. I will make the preparations. You two will go there. Invite him here and then we will strike okay. His breath smells awful. I can barely stand it. Why didn't I notice it by now? Sure, we have a deal. 
Tomorrow we will go on the trip and then carry out the plot to kill the other lord we shook hands. Well, you can take whatever you need from here. That bastard from Ikro gave me this curse so if he dies the curse will die with him he is now laughing like a maniac. I returned to Hana and Fumiko, spent the rest of the day with them. Fumiko started to get less scared of me. When talking to me she makes more eye contact and her tone less scared of me. Zero. Training Fumiko. It's been a few hours since Hannah and I spoke to the local lord. She seems that Hannah has been using her primordial skill in order to get closer to Fumiko. Her skill can manipulate the mind of the person talking to her to make them more compliant with her and what she says. How is everything going you two? I entered the room where Fumiko and Hannah are. They looked at me for a little bit. Fumiko came up to me dressed in a new dress than the one she wore before. Isn't this cute? Hannah picked it up for me Hikaru. Do you like it? She slowly spun around a part of her dress in her hands. Yeah, it looks cute on you Fumiko. I tried to compliment her as much as possible to get in good graces with all of them. Or you can admit you are a lulicon and don't deny it every time I bring it up. Favorite, you are into young looking girls that are short. I am mentally slapping myself at Sia's comments on me and my taste in girls. I can hear Hannah laughing on the other side of the telepathic link. Anyway, I made a deal with your father. We need to get going tomorrow. Until then we can stay a little more if you wish for us to stay that is trying to make Fumiko a little more desperate and dependent on us wouldn't hurt that much. We need her on our side. No, don't go just yet. I want you two to stay here more. I want you two to teach me how to fight. I want to fight the same way Hikaru fights. She looked at me excited. Okay, I can't say no to you, can I? I replied while patting her on the head. Man, this feels so good. I am so happy. From now on I will call you teacher Hikaru. How does that sound? Fumiko had a smug look on her face. That will be great I can't believe I am being called a teacher and I have a student. You want to train Fumiko in combat? I happen to be here to hear it the lord is at the door and coughed a lot before starting to speak. Yes, she asked to be trained so why shouldn't we accept her wish? Plus you will have us train her. You can come and watch us. But first, does your daughter have any weapon preference? I looked once at Fumiko and once at her father. As I know she is good with using smaller katana swords. I don't know what they are called I don't know either but I know how one looks. I got it. I have the perfect weapon for this I pulled my eye sword out of my inventory and made the blade a little shorter for Fumiko. It's that an eye sword? It looks very sturdy. Did you make it? The lord walked and inspected the sword and took it from Fumiko's hands and then gave it back to her. Yes, I have ice mastery skill. It only needs my mana to function. It works with other people's mana as well or so I hope. Sia, you are correct. Other people can also channel their mana into this sword and it will be able to do ice stacks as well as normal slashes. That sounds like an interesting weapon that you have there kid. Well, Fumiko needs some training so I will let her train with the two of you. We got Fumiko out of the mansion and to the training grounds of the mansion. These training grounds have a lot more stuff than those in Wellsea Academy. Okay, Fumiko follow my movements closely. Grip your sword with your main hand. I will show you first I grip the eye sword that I transformed into a katana with my left hand and then slashed when I left the logs in half. That looks so good Hikaru. I want to try it as well Fumiko gripped the sword with her right hand and tried to slash at the log but she only made a small scratch on it. Well, you will need to try over and over again to be able to cut it. May I ask what level are you? I am level 10. What levels are the two of you? She seems pre-try weak for a level 10. She is a human Hikaru. Human have lower stats than monsters. The stats are decided by the class and her class isn't an attack class so Fumiko has a hard time doing any physical damage. Yeah, but what class is she? I know only of a few RPG classes but there seem to be a lot of more in here. She is of the Potioner class. This class specializes in potions. I think you know what you need to do right? Hey Fumiko, you are a Potioner right? Why not make a few strength potions to boost your strength for a while and then try? Maybe throw in a few speed potions in there Fumiko stopped hitting the log. Until now she managed to make a big enough hole in it. No, I would have said it from the start if I wanted to do that. But for me that doesn't count as training. I want to raise my strength stat naturally Fumiko kept hitting the log with all of her power until she managed to slice it. Took he about 35 strikes to cut it. 
Hikaru, you can go and rest. I will stay with Fumiko and then return. You have done enough for today, Hannah spoke aloud. Confirming what Hannah said, Orcs need less sleep but demons need a lot more sleep than normal monsters. Why didn't you tell me earlier, Sia? You didn't need to know so I didn't tell you, but now it's crucial. Hikaru, before you leave I want to say, thank you. Fumiko hugged me from behind my back. I left to sleep for the next day. The next day we are going to the neighboring lord so that we can enact our plan to kill this lord and if THR other will get in our way we will do the same. 1. Traveling 1. The next day, we finished training Fumiko. This got us in the graces of the local lord, since he values his daughter more than anything, which is a good thing for us. The closer we get to her the higher the chances of us being able to kill the local lord are so it's a win-win for us at least. But there is one detail that I forgot. How will Fumiko will react at her father's death? How will she take it, since her mind is still too underdeveloped to process complex emotions like grief? But how we will explain that her father has died to her? I don't think we should worry about that too much Hikaru. I will deal with explain that to her why is Hannah offering herself like this to explain it to her. It is because Hannah knows more about being social and having a social life more than you do Hikaru. I will suggest you get better at social stuff ASAP if you want to do that yourself. But that's an impossible task. Great. Sia is mocking me again. Sia can be so funny sometimes. Don't worry Hikaru. I will be the one to take care of that Hannah slightly chuckled over the telepathic link. We gone to the Lord to announce our departure. Well a day has passed. The carriage will be ready shortly. If you want to. You can spend a little more time with Fumiko over there he pointed to a chair where Fumiko is playing with some dolls. Hannah gone up to Fumiko and started to play with her. Well I will pack everything that we need for departure. It's in our rooms that we slept last night. So do you mind if I go to pack out stuff? I asked the Lord with a smile. Okay, do whatever, but make sure to keep the promise okay? He coughed before turning away from me. Sure, I always keep my promises he is willing to do almost anything for power, this corrupt old geezer. He may look young on the outside but he is using magic in order to make himself that way. Confirmed, I can detect magic in unusual areas of his skin which means he uses magic to maintain it. Thanks for confirming my hunch Sia. So, when are we going? Fumiko asked, wait, are we going to bring her along too? Well, if she want to go, then she will go. I can't refuse my baby like that, can I? The Lord looked towards Fumiko. Of course she can go with us. Hikaru, go and pack stuff faster. Don't stare at us I gone to the room where I am packing. Well, not packing but I am checking for anything that might be out of place in the room. The room is pretty small and the bed is only for two people. I am used to sharing a bed with Hannah now. There isn't anything weird going on or anything but you get used to it. Sia, do you detect anything out of the ordinary here? Looking around I can see the painting seem to have eyes of their own. Analysis complete. Detected a rare skill called monitor and abuse. This perk gives you the power to monitor anyone through a painting of something that has a place for eyes. You two were monitored but nothing really happened since this skill can't interfere with a legendary skill or higher. Why didn't you tell me this earlier Sia? We were monitored without knowing huh? It wasn't necessary. This is the same skill that is making the local lord feel sick. The abuse part of the name applies to both the caster and the receiver. This is interesting. I grabbed some clothes that I thought we will need and some other stuff from the room and put them in a bag. I gone downstairs again to see Fumiko and Hannah ready to head out. Come on Hikaru, it's already late. Let's head out Hannah. Fumiko and I walked to the carriage and now we are headed for the city of Ikral. Hikaru, I want to ask you something. What kind of things did my dad tell you to do to the Lord? I hope those aren't bad things. Fumiko paused for a second and then looked at the ground. No, they just wanted to have a chat, and he sent us as an envoy. Since we are strong and people won't dare try anything funny like they do to other envoys, Fumiko looked at me confused. Well, this is the excuse that I came up with, but it seems like she ain't having it. What is an envoy? Is it like someone that my father sends out to do work for him? Like official lord work in his stead? Oh, I remember. He told me to give you two this. Now it makes sense Fumiko handed us a paper with the stamp of the local lord on it. Yeah, I remember that we needed this. Thank you Fumiko Hannah moved seats from seating with me to seating with Fumiko on her lap. I love it when Hannah hold me on her lap. 
Not fair. Why does she get to enjoy this? Hannah is right about making the bed and the house more comfortable. Jealous Hikaru? Maybe someday this could be you. Hannah laughed at me over the telepathic network. The bed is too rough at night like you said. The Lord's bed was the only decent one I replied to her. The carriage moved slowly. After that no one commented anything. We made a stop at night. I made sure the area is safe and I started to cook food, some wolf meat from my spatial storage. What is that? Fumiko pointed towards the meat. I got out some seasoning and then started to cook the meat while seasoning it and putting some vegetable to steam as well. It took one hour for the meat to cook and half an hour for the vegetables to steam. I served everyone a plate of wolf meat and steamed vegetable. I hope that the driver of the carriage and Fumiko survive eating the wolf meat. I read that it is toxic for humans. Not really. With the skill predator you eliminated any bacteria, fungi, or anything that would hurt a human from there so it's safe to eat. Well, thanks for the confirmation, see ya. We spend the rest of the night around the fire. End of the first day of traveling. 1. Traveling 2. The second day of travel. Me and Hannah are on the road to the city of Ikro. I don't get why Fumiko tagged along with us but it is what it is. Maybe my memory doesn't help me too much now. That was a strange thought. Humans are known to have strange thoughts Hikaru. Sometimes we say even the most outlandish of things. I get it Sia. I never had time to reflect on my past life on earth and how it was. Back on earth, I have paranoid schizophrenia. My life was less than desirable and ideal for most people to live. Constant hallucinations and delusions, medicine being expensive and my parents could barely afford it since I needed strong antipsychotics. I just don't want to think about Earth too much at this point in time. This is our new world that we call home now. But I bet Hannah is thinking about Earth a lot right now. But I don't know who she will miss there since all of our classmates were summoned here. We were the only ones who were reincarnated here since we died in our previous world. Up until now this life is crap. Same with my other one back on earth. But compared to me, Hannah is doing far better from what I can see. She finally got to meet her real parents after a long time. Hey Hannah, can I ask you something? I opened the telepathic link again. Sure, what is it? Her tone of voice is warm. Well, I wondered how this world was for you until now and if it's any better than the world we come from. What do you have to say about this world, Hannah? I am very curious. Am I wrong in my judgments when I make one about other people? Well, I kind of like it here. I finally found my parents and I have my childhood friend with me. It's better than being alone. Plus, I am very happy to be here with you, Hikaru, she responded with childlike confidence. I thought you will still be mad at me that I got you killed in the first place. Maybe it would have been better for us to never have come here in the first place. But then again, you wouldn't even be able to meet your parents. I guess I was right about Hannah and her enjoying her time here. Seems like I am the only one who is bitter about being alive right now. Don't beat yourself up, Hikaru. I am sure you will achieve your goal and happiness one day. I am sure of it. She cheered me on. Well, maybe I looked out of the window to see that the forest is getting thicker and thicker. This is supposed to be our last day of travel here so I expect that we arrive in Ikro by night. Mass of magic energy is approaching. After Sia announced that the carriage stopped. Me and Hannah gone out of the carriage and looked at a big bird monster. With Sia's help we could both see that it has way more mana than us that is overflowing out of its body. What the hell is that? I reached with my shadow hand withing to search for its organs and began to squish them one by one. But it isn't working. He just regenerates them faster than I could pop them. Let me try something Hikaru. I covered Hannah while she tried to cast some sort of magic at the bird. After 30 seconds or so a thunder has hit the bird and it's now laying on the ground. I dash towards it and using my shadow hand to squish its brain and kill it. You two gain one level. We even leveled up from that. Hey, if there are more monsters like this around here then it should be easy for us to level up. Hannah and I looked back at the driver of the carriage, which looked at us dumbfounded. We got back in. Fumiko is cowering on the seats of the carriage with her hands over her head. It's okay. It had passed Hannah pat her on the head until she calmed down. The carriage started to move again. Sia, what is this mass of magic alert about? It is a system that allow you to detect powerful being that far exceed your capacity and are very dangerous but worth fighting because you gain a lot of experience. Thank you, Sia. 
No problem. There is something about Sia and her tone. She is somewhat less emotional than humanly possible when talking to me. Everything that she says sounds dead. A little more human tone will be great for her to have and will add more onto her and her personality. Dumbass, don't forget I am skill. I rarely have a tone of voice. Appears that calling her less than human backfires, she now sounds pissed. Yeah, I remember that now. But please can you have a normal tone of voice and make me feel like I am talking to a human look through the window again and saw the day starting to turn into night slowly but surely. I understand. And please don't be stupid next time and second guess yourself about stuff that you feel. Guess she is right. The first step to improve this nasty mood I am in is by not beating myself up for every little mistake that I do. Hikaru, we need to get out of the carriage Hannah spoke out loud and got out of the carriage with Fumiko. I will make a fire me and Hannah gathered sticks in the nearby forest. The trees don't seem to thin down even a little bit. After making the fire is Hannah's time to cook something for us to eat. We waited around two hours and she whipped up some amazing rice balls with sweet fruit leaves. Or at least that's what they are called by the locals in Welsia. It was quite the feast since she made a lot of them. I ate the largest portions and then gone to sleep. The city of Ikril is close. I can feel it. And then we are going to enact our plan to get rid of the lords. There are many more lords we need to take care of but we won't get into that right now. 1. Welcome to Ikril. The road to Ikril is closing in. Me, Hannah and Fumiko got out of the carriage and looked around at the entrance on the city of Ikril. Halt, state your reason for an entering. The guards have their spears drawn at us. We are here on a decree from the local from Welsia. We are here to discuss something with your lord I showed the paper that Fumiko gave me. Okay, you may pass they lowered their spears and we passed. So this is Ikro Fumiko looked around in awe. The city is big, bigger than Welsia at least, this city has more shops, more house and far more people than Welsia. Now I know why the local lord wants to rid of the other lord. Correct, he wants to own Ikral as well as Welsia. It will give him more power the more territory he has. I also deduce that there is a high chance of both lords betraying you. I suggest you kill both of them. I need to appraise the local lord of Ikral as well before we make any rash decisions. I think Sia is right. Maybe the lord of Ikral might be more friendly to us than the lord of Welsia. Hannah spoke via the telepathic link. I doubt that. But we will see it when we are there we moved rapidly from the streets. And we reached the Hazu of the local lord. We can see guards in front of his house. Halt there, monsters. We had our disguises off. Since Fumiko advised us to go there without any disguise since there is a magical device that can detect disguises. Negtave. That device can't detect a disguise formed by a primordial skill such as Lucifer. So you say that it can only detect up to legendary skills? Correct. We are here by the decree of the Lord of Welsia. We want to talk to the Lord Ikro Lord Ikro. Don't these people have names? I didn't get the name of the Lord of Welsia either. The name of the Lord is Welsia. They call him Lord Welsia. Lords get a new name after they become lords they are named after their region. You must be Fumiko, the daughter of the other lord. What would he want with Lord Ikro? One of the guards looked at the documents. Especially with a demon and an orc at their side. This can't be a good sign the two guards still won't let us pass. You mean these things on our head? We are merely using a disguise spell so that we can scare low-level monsters away. We are in fact human. Use primordial skill. Lord of deceit and lies Lucifer we change to a human form. Oh, that was smart. We are sorry for calling you monsters. The guards let us pass onto the mansion of the Lord. Smart move Hikaru. You aren't that stupid anymore I assume. Humans can have one moment of brilliance, and then be stupid for the rest of their lives. I hope you aren't the same Hikaru. Sia began giggling. Did you think lying was a good idea? Hannah interrupted Sia. Yes, it was the only way we could get into his house Hannah. We reached the door of the house, a wooden door painted green. We knocked on it, and a maid greeted us. A peculiar thing about the maid, she is a demi-human. An orc just like Hannah to be exact. She looks at us and smiles. How did you get in here? She whispered to us. Throughout the front door, the guards let us pass. I am here on official decree from my dad. These two are my advisors and guards Fumiko spoke before us. And then she pointed towards the two of us. Oh, you are here. Well, I hope you enjoy yourself here. Mind if I talk to the two of them in private? 
Fumiko nodded, and the maid dragged us into a small chamber. What did you want to talk to us about? She sat on a chair. We did the same and looked her straight in the eyes. I am wondering, how did two monsters manage to get in here? You are using a disguise skill, aren't you? How did she figure it out? The answer lies in her legendary skill, Mystic Eye. It allows you to see the surrounding mana that comes out of a person. Normally no one can see mana that comes out of a person, and you will need a device or skill. She figured it out because humans don't have much mana to begin with. Your mana levels are through the roof since you are monsters. So, you have Mystic Eye. Well, we are here with an official decree from Lord Welsia. We don't mean it any harm me and Hannah got up from the chair and left the room. So, your dad wants to have good relations with me again? It's nice to hear that Lord Ikro leaned down to Fumiko and patted her head. Sorry for the long wait Fumiko. We are her advisors on this journey we bowed and presented ourselves. You two must be the people who were disguised as monsters, smart trick. I almost got a heart attack thinking that there might be monsters in my house Lord Ikro started to laugh along with Fumiko. Fumiko looked at us confused. Yes, that is right. We disguise ourselves as monsters. We can even fake the mana that is in the air to make it look like we are monsters I continued to stroke the Lord's ego. That sure is interesting. How do you do that? He stopped and looked at us. Well, we use the mana around us, gather it for some time and make it look like I am emanating it. Sia helped me with this a bit. Sure. With the help of Sia I managed to keep it true to what I said. The Lord used the device to see the mana around us. Sia suppressed the mana we had and then we gathered the mana around us and made it look like it is emanating from us. That sure is a fantastic power to have. It sure took you a few years to master it, didn't it? We followed the Lord one floor up. Okay, now we need to discuss the serious matter, okay? We sat down in a room, where we can talk in private. Well, yes, what is the matter that you want to talk about? Lord Ikros sat down sipping on a cup of tea. Well, Lord Welsia wants to patch things up with us. Are you willing to come with us and solve all of your problems? I reached out my hands towards him. See a you analysis? Complete. This individual can't be trusted. He plans to kill Lord Welsia. Well, why not? We go tomorrow at dawn. In the meantime, you two can go around the city. Take this. It's a pass from me. You will be allowed anywhere you go. Lord Ikral handed us a pass with his name on it. Thank you for your cooperation we shook hands with Ikril and then we gone outside in the city of Ikril. 1. Ikril City Tour We have to wait an entire day to ourselves. What do you think we should do Hannah? I looked around the city, not knowing what we should do in it first. Well, we should be visiting some landmarks or kill some monsters for their skills I suggested to her via the telepathic link. It's best that we refrain from killing anything. Everything including the monsters are owned by the local lord here. It is best that we refrain from doing it Fumiko appeared behind us exhausted, looking like she has run a marathon. You look exhausted. What happened to you Fumiko? Hannah turned towards Imiko and lifted her up. Well I did run after the two of you. I heard you wanted to kill some monsters here. The local lord will get mad at us if we do something like this Hannah let Fumiko down. What should we do then? Yawning. I looked at one of the shops in the city. That looks like a sweet shop. Can we please go there? Fumiko asked us with puppy eyes. Sure, Hannah responded and carried Fumiko on her back. I don't know if going to a sweet shop is productive this sucks a lot. Why can't we do something that will move us closer to our goal instead? We are acting like a babysitter for Fumiko. Come on Hikaru, relax for a bit. It's not as bad as you say it is Hannah tried to at least appease me in some way. It's bad, it really is bad. Don't be such a killjoy Hikaru. Try to enjoy yourself at least this time. You realize that the only goal on your mind is to evolve and get stronger. It has been like that since you met the king. Try to relax and have some fun. Why are you advising me Sia? I thought you are skilled that only makes fun of me. I can hear Hannah starting to laugh a little at my conversation with Sia. Negative. I might be a skill but I have my own sentience and a faint ego. I do care for you in my own unique way Hikaru. I want you to feel happy as much as possible since happiness is required for human life to continue. It could result in another suicide. Sia is right Hikaru. At least this once. Please take things less seriously for now at least. I finally give in and we go into the sweet shop. There are so many options Hana. Fumiko looked at the sweets. Indeed, 
I might choose something for myself looking around the people there are giving me weird looks. Some of them are even horrified of me. Looking at the prices these are cheap. Don't worry Hikaru. I will pay for them Fumiko Samyang Same Claire's. They look similar like the ones in my world but they are a little wider. Okay, if you insist this shop is regarding us in a strange manner, what is happening? These people figured out that you are a demon, Hikaru. It is likely that they are humans with a skill that allows them to see magic aura around people. Demon aura is usually golden. Why are demons feared again? Hey miss, we will take one eclair, and two raspberry cakes please Fumiko smiled at them. When I tried to get closer the women at the sweet shop brought Fumiko closer to counter. Because of King Wika, that's the main reason why they are feared. Same with other sentient monsters, he is the root cause of the problem. Well I think you are right Sia. Well how do I change my aura? Can't Lucifer disguise my aura? This is what it seems weird to me. Why can't my primordial skill disguise aura as well? It can but you never commanded it to. They disguise you but not your aura or the magic that is around you. Remember skills such as Lucifer who have no sentience will do exactly what you ask them to do and nothing more. I can predict what you may use certain things for and enable some extra features. Understood. The women served us our food. In that time I made Lucifer disguise our auras as well. The people working in the sweet shop still looked at me with disgust and anger. Don't mind them Hikaru Hana touched my hand for a few seconds. Come on Hikaru, you can dig in as well, these sweets are delicious. Fumiko is chewing her food rather fast. A demon here? That is the daughter of Lord Welsia there. What is a filthy creature like that doing there with her? One of the human customers commented, well, more like a whisper but I still heard it due to my high senses. Is she kidnapped or something? No she seems quite to enjoy herself there some other humans whispered. Is it okay to leave a demon here? We haven't seen one in ages. I am afraid that he will be turned into slaves like us forced to work for Lord Ikril's slaves. Lord Ikril? Less talking more working. And keep that freak out of the way of the customers a eh, old woman. She looks like the one running things around here. Better lay low. Understood it's useless to whisper due to my senses. Something that is being talked in around 10 to 20 meters of me. Even in a whisper I can hear it clearly. We finished eating and we had gone back outside. I need some time for myself looking everywhere I saw a small alley where I took a small walk into. In the end I bumped into one of the women working at the sweet shop. She looks like another monster just like me. Hello there. There is something that I need to tell you I helped her up and we both sat down somewhere no one could hear us. Sure, go ahead, I am listening. Also, I heard all of the conversations in the sweet shop. I start at her for a few minutes, and then she start at me. Monsters here are treated as slaves, demons are especially valuable around these parts. We don't want you to become a slave like us. Law dictates that humans are to be kept away from demons but not other monsters so we had to bring that girl closer to us. Sorry she looked at me again putting one of her hands on my shoulder. It's nothing. But thanks for the heads up going back on the alley. She followed me until I reached back to Fumiko and Hannah. Well see you three off. Hope better times come and we may see you again she waved us off. Now what are we going to do next? Reflecting back on this day. It's like in school. Because of my condition I was ignored. People were talking behind my back all the time and I was insulted. Not a great feeling to feel. 1. Ikral City Tur. 2. We still aren't done touring the city. Fumiko offered herself to be our guide here. Hikaru, let's go to the weapon and skills shops next. Maybe there is something that you can buy there and use yourself. Or maybe Hannah can get a new weapon there. Don't worry about the cost. I will be paying for you too. Fumiko continued to walk around and explore every little corner of the town. Or at least what she can explore in a few minutes. We stopped in front of a store where it writes carrot clothing store carrot. So we are looking to buy new clothes huh? Looking at the sign of the shop it had piqued my interest. We do need some new clothes. Well there is something that you like in there Hikaru. So why not try to see what's in there. Me and Hannah hurried to the shop. Hello you three. What might you want in this shop? The woman that is working at the clothes shop greeted us with a warm smile. We are just browsing the woman looked down at Fumiko. Her height makes her look like a kid. She sometimes acts like one. How do I get her to stop acting like a child for an extended period of time? The answer is to have something to control her mana. 
She currently thinks like a childish adult, but if you have her control our mana she will be able to stay in the mental age or 22 for a longer period of time. So, in theory, if there is an object that can absorb her overflowing mana then she will be able to stay in the 22 mental age for longer? Is there something else that can be done? There is one thing that can be done. We can have her acquire more skills. Let me explain how skills work in this world. See a pause for a second. Okay, I will let you explain I looked around at the clothes shop. There are many choices. I settle on a black cape and some black shoes. Hannah buys some white pants, a green coat and brown shoes. It's a good idea to pick some other type of clothes like pajamas for us to wear at night. I took a pair for the two of us. One pair for the hotter seasons and one pair for the colder seasons. In total four pairs of pajamas were bought, plus what we had chosen previously. I am ready to tell you how skills work in this world. Skills are embedded in your souls once you receive them. The more mana you have the more skills you can have. Once you obtained a skill your maximum mana is reduced but you can use it for a very little mana cost. Fumiko has a small amount of skills right now, but she will need a lot more to combat the amount of mana she has. I suggest you use Predator and absorb as many monster skills and share them with Fumiko. This might do the trick. How do we get skills for monsters if monster hunting is illegal around these parts unless you have permission of the lord everyone is staring at me while I am drifting off and speaking to Sia. Hannah is the only one that can hear the conversation. Hikaru, I think you already realized people are watching in this shop haven't you? Hannah spoke over the telepathic link with me. Yes sorry. I snapped out of it and got out of the shop. I stored the clothes in my spatial storage. We are now going to the skills shop to see what skills we can buy and then learn from the shop. What brings you here? This time there is a man running a shop. He is looking a little bit older. Maybe in his middle forties. Reminds me of one of my school teachers. Well, we are looking for some skills. What skills do you have here? Fumiko is looking with curiosity at the skill scrolls. Well, we might have some good skills. But without telling me what you need them for it will be harder for me to say which skill is good for you three the man looked at. Fumiko and then at Hannah and lastly looked at me. We can get one of the skills that Hannah needs to unlock the legendary skill Shadow Frenzy. You need to get the skills named Spatial Movement, God Speed and Shadow Run. Sir, do you have by chance either one of these skills? Spatial Movement, God Speed and Shadow Run? The man looked at us for a second and then gone into the back of the shop to look for some skills. Yes, but only one of them. Spatial movement is the only skill that I have a scroll for. You need to try somewhere else to see if they have the Godspeed skill. The skill Shadow Run is evolved from the skill Shadow Walk which evolves from Shadow Step that evolves from the skill Insidious. If you already have that skill you should be able to unlock the skill you want rapidly the old timer knows his stuff. I already have that skill. Thank you for the skill scroll Hannah bowed and then learned the skill from the scroll. Hashtag Hannah has learned the skill. Spatial movement hashtag. Fumiko paid for the skill. Hey sir do you have a skill that is very powerful? He then looked at me with a confused look. I do have one. But you need a lot of mana to be able to use the skill. It's called Meteor Havoc he looked at me with apprehension. That sounds like a cool name. Can I keep the skill Hikaru? Fumiko looked at me with puppy eyes. Sure, the skill is for you in the first place to defend yourself Fumiko her eye lighted up and she paid the full price of the skill. The shop owner handed the skill to Fumiko rather cautious. Okay, don't cause any havoc in the city with it please the man pleaded with Fumiko. Why would I use such a dangerous skill that is only for self-defense to cause havoc in the city? Well, you do seem like a little kid so. I am 22 years old. I am an adult capable of making an informed decision. It's working. Her mental age is increasing from 15 to 20 years old. Thank goodness that it's working. Okay, you three take care. The man waved us off. When we had gone outside the day is still on. We have much more to explore in the city of Ikril. You have around 7 hours of daylight left OT explore everything that there is to explore in Ikril city. I wonder where to next? 1. Ikril city tour 3. There are still seven hours until sunset. We are on the streets of Ikro with Fumiko. She wants to show us around the city, or more like buy us something in the shops. It's funny how she was scared of us at first, but now she treats us like lifelong friends. Hannah, I wonder, 
What happened to Fumiko that made her treat us like lifelong friends? Hannah is looking towards the city center. Well, I am taking all the praise on this one, but it's because of me. I have been taking care of her for some days. I have been playing with her and listening to her every whim. So that's why she does this. She sees you as a friend as well that is in good relations of her father. That's a rather long explanation. But I kind of get it it's hard in this new world. Why am I thinking that right now? I just don't want to think about my old world and what I had to endure in my old world. Hikaru, what are you doing there? Let's go. Fumiko grabbed my hand along with Hana. The two of them dragged me into the town square where there are many stall of people selling various amount of things. I don't know but some things look familiar to me. Hikaru, look at those fruits, they look like apples. But they are shaped like a heart Hana spoke out loud this time, pointing at some heart-shaped fruits. What are those Fumiko? Looking at the fruits more closely, I can just use Sia to tell me. But I think that asking Fumiko will improve my connection to her. In my past life I tried my best to recover and do something about it. But it didn't work as I expected and ended up killing myself in the process. But thinking back on it, I am glad that I did it. We would have been summoned to this world anyway, and we wouldn't have had these powerful skills and abilities. But the downside is that we are constantly hunted by people sent by the king. Those are heart fruits. You can make food that heals you out of them. Fumiko picked some fruits up. Sia, what is the process of becoming a demon lord? Preparing information in one hour. One hour? Why this long? It's no use asking her. Hannah and Fumiko had bought some fruits from the stalls. We have heart-shaped fruits, cube-shaped fruits and some other fruit that looks like a pink banana. I wonder how they taste? Come on Hikaru, stop thinking about things so much both Fumiko and Hannah grabbed my hands and dragged me along the stalls. Well, no time to think I guess. Fine, let's go. We walked through the stall and bought more food for our home and some improvements for the beds and windows. We removed some of the planks and put on curtains. But we got something better that I didn't think it exists in this world. One-way glass. With this nobody is able to see into our house. I didn't think glass like that existed Hikaru. It's black. Looks kind of depressing to be honest with you Fumiko looked at the glass somewhat confused. Well don't bother with it right now. I will tell you later at what we can use this glass for. Storing the glass in spatial storage. I then looked at the stall to see what more can we buy from them. There are a few flimsy weapons on the display but they won't help us since we can forge our own weapons. This way we surpass most of the weapon that are created here. Hikaru, look at this. Isn't that gemstone cute? Fumiko bought a gemstone. I can see Hana looking at another gemstone. Her eyes on the stone wanting to look at it but Fumiko dragged her before she could. I will catch up with you soon. Just don't wander off too far. I turned my back and looked at the gemstone. At a closer look it seems like this gemstone is part of a pendant. Sir, I would like that pendant with the pink gemstone pointing at it. The woman gave me the price tag. It was 100 silver. Well, we will spend 100 silver but this will make Hannah happy. So it's worth it. I care about her too much. Fuck, what am I saying? I didn't think I did something to show I care about her. But from now on I will do my best. Here you go I gave her 100 silver. Hey guys, I caught up to them and hid the pendant from Hannah. See ya, block all of the information about the pendant to reach Hannah. I already did. The information on how to become a demon lord will be available soon. Great, now that I have all of this set up it's time. Hey Hikaru, isn't that ice cream? Like the one we have in our own world? Fumiko looked at us a little confused. Your own world? Fumiko asked while tilting her head. It's a long story. If we didn't tell we will tell you again if we did we gone and bought some ice cream. After that we had gone at an inn to rest. The two of us told Fumiko about the world we are from originally. I am getting sleepy we are playing a board game. It's similar to monsters and dungeons that we have in our world. Well, go to your room then, Fumiko. We will go to our room as well. You two in a single room. This should get interesting Fumiko smiled mischievously. It's not like that Fumiko I frowned while sipping on some coffee. Not yet at least I almost spilled the coffee when I heard Hannah saying this. Almost gave me a heart attack. She is just teasing Hikaru. Don't get your hopes up. You two grew up like brother and sister until now. I doubt she will be interested in me. We go to our rooms. Hannah, look, I have a gift for you. I saw you eyeing that pendant at the shop. 
I bought it for you. Hana hugged me when she saw the pendant. Thank you, Hikaru. It makes me happy. There is but one problem in this room. There is a double bed for me and Hana. We are not a couple, just very close childhood friends that happen to live together. Come on, Hikaru. Don't be fearful. Hana starts changing into pajamas in front of me. Sorry, didn't mean to look turning my sight away from her. She puts her left hand on my shoulder and smiles. It's okay. If you are too ashamed you can change in that corner. Every room has a corner where you can change. She pointed to the right corner of the room that has a place where you can change privately. Thank you I gone to change. I am a little embarrassed to sleep in the same bed with Hannah. Well in the cabin we still sleep close to one another. But not this close. Just sleep Hikaru. Just like when we were little Hannah placed her hand on my hand and began to drift away into sleep. Note. I will tell you tomorrow how to evolve into a demon Lord Hikaru. Every piece of information is vital. Good night Sia. Good night Hikaru. 1. How to become a demon lord. The next day, after we woke up me and Hana are checking if Fumiko has woken up yet. Fumiko are you awake? Hana knocked on her door. Yeah wait a bit. I will get changed her voice can be heard from the other room. We will wait for you downstairs. Hana and I descended the stairs and looked at the inn that we are staying at. We didn't get a good look yesterday so I hope I can get a good look at it today instead. The interior is decorated with all sort of flowers. Most of them I don't recognize aside from a few species that I saw in my original world. I don't even remember what they are called. There are three receptionists in total working at one time and a few butlers and maids taking care of the rooms that people sleep in. Sorry to keep you two waiting. Fumiko is standing right behind us. She is wearing a long blue dress. No problem. You look so cure in that outfit Fumiko. Hannah looked at Fumiko and hugged her then carried her in her arms. Well I don't mind we walked outside to see a carriage waiting for us and the Lord of Ikra waiting for us there. Hope you two got a good sleep. Hannah, keep him occupied while I talk with Sia I told her over the telepathic link. She looked at me and then she nodded. The Lord looked at us in suspicion. Of course I said out loud and got first into the carriage helping Hannah get up. Acting like this was the best cover we had. Oh, I see, a true gentleman. I like that about you. What was your name again? He scratched his head in confusion. I am Hikaru, and she is Hannah. We presented ourselves again. Okay, thanks for remind me. Hannah began talking to Lord Ikro. See ya now. The process to become a demon lord here is a little complicated. You need meet the next requirements. 1. Fully evolved. You need to gain all the possible EXP and be one evolution away from Demon Lord. Sorry to interrupt Sia. But this seems hard enough as it is right now how am I going to get that much EXP? I need a few hundreds of levels. Let me continue please. The two one is to have gathered 10,000 souls from humans or other humanoid living being. The third is to have a number of named subordinates. But it's more of an optional requirement. The fourth requirement is to have a safe place where you can evolve. You will be put into another long evolutionary sleep that will last about 2 to 4 hours and you won't be able to feel, hear or attack during that time. And the fifth requirement is to have something called a demon lord sproutling. This sproutling will offer you the chance to become a demon lord but it's hard to find all. That is it for the demon lord evolution. Getting the sproutling seems like the hard part. It indeed is. You will need two of them and 20,000 souls in order to complete the evolution. Plus you will need to evolve to your maximum evolutionary level before that. Indeed. See ya, but now answer me. Where do I get the Sproutlings? Why is dodging the question? You get them from defeating a monster that can cause a calamity on this planet. Monsters such as the Fenrir or Mentii Mentii. What are those? I know about Fenrir. But what about Mentii Mentii? That is a monster that represents a large feline species. It spawns every 500 years or so. It is very rare but these two monsters have a 100% chance to drop a demon lord sproutling. Hikaru, this seems complicated. I don't know if I can defeat one of those monsters on my own. Hana interrupted my conversation with Sia. I know you can do it. You are strong as well Hana. You have more skill than me with a sword. I may have more skills than you but you have more experience than I do trying to reassure her. Don't know what to do about this. She has less skills than me but her skills need to useful to do something at least. Sia, what can her skills do? Her primordial skill Lord of Beauty Aphrodite can make people fall in love with her in an instant. 
Her other primordial skill Lord of Compassion Afriel can calm people and have a mind manipulation effect on monsters. I didn't know that my skills could do that I can hear Hannah's tone getting more lively when she heard her skills explained by Sia. Well those are useful. I have an idea on how you will use those skills. How? I mean I do have an idea. We might get some discounted prices at shops. No, you are going to mind control some monsters and then kill them. We need to increase our level individually at some point. But one thing Hikaru, how are we going to get souls? Hannah asked a little frightened. You can get souls by killing humans and humanoid creatures. All of them possess a soul. You will need to sacrifice a lot of lives for you two to become demon lords. I suggest you kill bandits or other undesirable people in order to reduce emotional trauma suffered by the two of you. Sia stopped. It's already been a day. One more day until we reach Welsia again. We reach Welsia. Everything is tense. I don't know how to explain it but we are putting our plan into action. We are going to kill both lords and make it look like a murder-suicide. What are we going to do now? I came to care a little for Fumiko. I don't know what her reaction will be to seeing her father dead. What should I do? Hikaru you idiot. 1. Time to strike 1. We are back in Welsia. We are with Lord Ikrol in Welsia. We are at the mansion of the local lord that plotted against us with the king to have us killed. Halt there the guards didn't recognize us. They are with me. Let them pass, Lord Ikrol especially. He has business with my dad Fumiko got in front of the guards and showed them some sort of ID. She has a tattoo on her left arm and some sort of holographic image showed up. That is a guild tattoo. Only people joined with a certain guild have them. They only work on humans to measure their levels. Wait a bit. Wait a bit. We don't have those. Yeah, but we are members of the guild. Wouldn't it be strange for us to not have them? Negative. They assume that you have them from another guild since they can read your level. They don't know that secretly you are monsters. That is good to know. For a second I thought that our cover would be blown. Hannah sounds relieved. It's hard to tell emotions just by voice. No luck, my dad is out of town. Can I stay at your place while he returns? Fumiko looked at the two of us. Sure, why not? We even bought some things to make that place more comfy. Hikaru doesn't. T have a problem with it either Hannah hit me with elbow without Fumiko noticing. Sure, I don't have a problem I do have quite the big one. It will be very suspicious to see Lords Welsia's daughter sleeping in the same house as the hunted monsters. It will be in your best interest to have Fumiko stay with you. It leads to further bonding between the two of you. It is needed that you and the individual named Fumiko form a close bond. It is vital that you won't let her down when she sees her father being killed. Sia finished talking. She seems to be talking pretty fast. So, what did the guards say? Lord Ikra looked at Fumiko and leaned down to be on her level. Well, my dad is away for one additional day. So, you will have to stay at an inn today, sorry for the delay. I apologize on his behalf. Fumiko bowed in front of Lord Ikro. No need to bow. I do understand that he is busy though. Every lord is busy. More time is always welcomed. This guy, he wants more time in order to prepare the way that he is going to kill Lord Welsia. We must go in there tonight and set up the scene. Hannah, you heard Sia. You must stay with Fumiko but first charm the guards using your primordial skill. After that, I will enter the night and prepare everything that is needed to make it look like a murder-suicide. Are we really doing it tomorrow? Hannah asked me somewhat scared. Yes, we don't have a choice. You want to live right? This is a new world, a new life. Do you remember who we were in our previous lives at least? I hope she does. I don't want to explain it twice. I don't know. Was my past life so bad? Hannah looked and glared at me. Not only yours but mine as well. You have been burdened to take of me for a long time. You associated with me and your school reputation plummeted. You were talked about the same way I was and now. I lead her to this other world by deciding to jump off a rooftop. In reality, my decision wasn't impulsive at all. I planned for that date. I moved the hour of when I died a lot sooner than it was supposed to be that day. But hey, I would have still died. I don't care about those things Hikaru, yes I was affected, but I am affected more by you saying all of this. Fine, I will shut up if you don't want to hear me anymore. Look, Hikaru, I am worried about Fumiko and how she will take the news of her father being dead. What shall we do in this case? 
I suggest that you adopt Fumiko and train her into the ruler you want. She will rule on both Ikril and Welsia. She will grant you special status and lie to the king that you two were dealt with. Sia said as a smug tone, almost felt her making a smug smile as well. I think that's a brilliant plan, Sia. I looked at Hannah. She doesn't seem as pleased as I am. That is just blatant emotional manipulation from our part, Hikaru. I don't want to Fumiko to go through that. I know we must kill them both but let's leave Fumiko to make her own decisions. Hannah is now yelling at me over the telepathic network. Fine. I will let her make her own decision. But with how things are currently it will lead to this outcome anyway. I want to ask myself, can I do it? Do I even have the power to manipulate Fumiko in this way? The answer is yes, you do have the power but your own morals won't let you. Thanks for nothing, Sia. That won't make me feel any better. I don't think the role of a villain is suited for me anyway, but we must do it in order to live. What are you thinking about Hikaru? Fumiko held my hand, she then looked at my face and wiped something off my face with her hand. Was I crying? Affirmative. It's nothing, my eyes get irritated sometimes. Demon can sometimes get infused with too much magic, and cry I whispered to Fumiko. Oh, understood, I thought you were sad, I want to cheer you up. Thank you Fumiko, but... I couldn't say anything else she hugged me. I know that you lied on this one she whispered back. This feels somewhat soothing to an extent. We continued to move to our place, that run-down cabin that we managed to get it up somehow, in a day no less. It isn't like my mansion but it's I can see you two are happier living here than in a mansion all alone. Fumiko took a seat on the bed. She doesn't look surprised of the rough mattress. Well, Fumiko, we are about to change some of this stuff. Some people, wait a little outside. We first changed the windows and barricaded everything that we could. We replaced the mattresses with new ones. Me and Hannah also upgraded the stove while we were at it. We fixed some cracks in the oven inside. We got all the materials that were needed for Mikro. Now we only have to wait for the night to arrive so that I can prepare everything. I have a feeling that I will meet Lord Welsia in that room as well. My plan will be easier with him there and then I can make the two of them disappear for good and Fumiko to take ownership over their lands. I need to do that fast and with no delay. Welsia Academy will be sending more people to hunt us down. Our own classmates will become our hunters. I want to see which one of them will take this hunt too seriously. 1. Time to strike 2. Tonight is the time to strike. Lord Welsia and Lord Ikral are having a meeting as we arranged. Tonight I need to prepare for the strike. It's still dangerous since some classmates are still around and listening to the king and hunting us down. It wouldn't be a problem to take them out but I want to avoid doing things like these unless they are needed for our survival like this situation needs me to kill both of the lords in order to keep me and Hannah safe. It's so cool to see cooking done in front of you. Fumiko looked at Hannah while she cooked. Well you can try it as well if you want to. Here I will teach you Fumiko got closer to the pot where the stew is boiling. Thank you. I wonder if Hikaru can cook as well she looked at me. I think she expects a no response from so that we can do that all three of us. Yes, Hikaru knows how to cook pretty well. I specialize more in sweets while he specializes in ramen, udon and most noodle-based dishes Fumiko looked at Hana confused. What is ramen and udon? Fumiko turned to me. Well, they are type of noodles made out of different types of grains. We use different flour types for each type of noodles that we make. If you could bring me some brown flour and white flour maybe I could make some noodles, since I have almost all of the ingredients for the ramen and udon. Well, I have almost everything in my dad's mansion. But I don't know if I can go in there just yet. Well, too bad. Maybe after their meeting I will prepare some ramen or udon for you. I better do. I bet Fumiko won't feel like eating anything. It's now or never. Still, I wonder, how do you guys know the recipe for these stuff? I never meet things like these in this world, well, similar ones like noodly soup with different types of noodles but that's it. Fumiko looked at us with childlike fascination. Do you want to know the truth? I leaned down to Fumiko's level. Yes, very much so Fumiko took a seat on the bead. We sat in two chair in front of her. Well, if your father hasn't told you yet. We are reincarnations. We arrived in this world along with the other summoned heroes. Fumiko looked at us confused. You were summoned with the other heroes? Why is everyone treating you so bad then? Makes no sense. The difference between reincarnations and transportations are the next. 
A reincarnation stays in this world permanently and has more skills while reincarnated. A transportation is granted one powerful legendary skill and few other common skills. Transportations have lower base stats than reincarnations but can grow x4 times as fast. Well, reincarnations have died in their past world. We are from the same world as the heroes. But at the same time they were summoned, we died. Fumiko looks like she saw a ghost. You died in the world you were from? How? Was it painful? Fumiko asked me, somewhat scared. As painful as jumping from 30 meters gets. Wait, you two killed yourselves? Fumiko jumped out of bed in front of us, looking pale. I didn't, but I wanted to catch Hikaru who wanted to do that. I didn't have enough strength to pull him up and the two of us ended up falling to our deaths. Hannah put her left hand to the back of my head, grabbing my hair and pulling it hard. So, it's Hikaru's fault. By the way, what's the deal with the two of you? You seem awfully close for friends. Well, we grew up together. We were raised by the same parents. Hikaru is your brother? Fumiko took her seat back and looked at us with curiosity. No, my parents died while I was little. Hikaru's mom was good friends with mine, so they decided to take care of me. I also had a grandmother but she couldn't take care of me so Hikaru's parents were the only ones who could do that. So you two just grew up together, but there isn't any bond like a brother or sister would have, right? Fumiko looks tense. What is she thinking? She thought that the two of you are siblings that have romantic relationship. You get along too well for friends. Honestly, you can be so dense Hikaru. By the way you act with Hannah it's obvious to other people that you have a crush on her or that you love her. Even if you don't feel that yet. Yes. We just get along too well for our own good what? Hannah realized it sooner than you did Hikaru. I swear, you are the perfect ice guy protagonist as to how dense you are. Sia stop. Don't turn my own jokes against me. I won't stop. It's too funny making fun of you when you do or say something stupid. I can hear and see Hannah giggle over my fight with Sia. Are you okay Hannah? Why are you laughing? Fumiko looked at Hannah concerned. Nothing. Just remembered something funny she looked at me still having a smile on her face. Six hours later. It's night time and the perfect time to strike. Or at least prepare to strike. I am on the streets of Welsia going to the mansion of Lord Welsia. Oh, where to this late in the night I can hear Lord Welsia's voice. I was searching for you. I have everything prepared. If you have any poison you would like me to use in particular just tell me right now I put my hands up to make him more comfortable. If he tries anything funny he won't be able to move. I already have my shadow tendrils wrapped around him. Well, use the poison from this flower. It's very potent and will kill quickly Lord Welsia gave me a strange flower. Warning. That flower is toxic to both monsters and humans. He will try to kill the two of you as well. I think you already knew that but an heads up is always good. Okay, I will make the poison when I reach home. Take care now while going back home I can hear him laugh. I stopped in dark corner and had the flower in my hand. Use skill. Predator I devoured the flower and crafted it into poison inside my spatial storage. With my predator skill I can put and remove poisons from any drink, or anything really. Or instead you can acquire the skill poison resistance, or all poison resistance. That should work too. I returned home. Hannah is looking after Fumiko. She doesn't suspect a thing. Good. Tomorrow is the big day that I have been waiting for. Two lord with one poison. One. Time to strike three. The day arrived, the day that we are going to strike against the two lords. So, Hikaru, what are we going to do at today's meeting? Fumiko is eating with me and Hannah at a table. Well, we will see what your dad says today. I expect the meeting to go well, Hannah tried to reassure them. I don't think so, Fumiko. These kinds of discussions can go wrong as well. We tried to help but what they do is up to them. I don't want to tell her too much about what will happen today. What do you mean by this? Will something bad happen today? She looked a little uneasy. I say that there is potential for something bad to happen. There is still a lot that can go wrong in the meeting. You need to think like an adult. No matter how harsh the truth it might seem about what will happen, you will have to accept it. Most of the time, these types of meetings go wrong. I am just warning you. Okay, thank you Hikaru. I hope that nothing bad happens. She is too optimistic for her own good. I spoke to Hannah over the telepathic network. Or maybe you are trying to make yourself feel better as to what you are about to do today, Hannah retorted. 
That as well. But we need to prepare Fumiko. Today will be the day that her father is put down. I hope you can take care of her while I am doing it, Hannah. Sure. I will be the one taking care of Fumiko. It's better to leave the hard stuff for you. I ended the telepathic conversation with Hannah. Fumiko is looking at me. She is ready to go in for a new day of living. Only if I were that excited for living another day in this crappy world. Hey, Fumiko, what do you want to do today? There is still some time before we go to the meeting. What would you like to do today? Fumiko is snacking on some candies that Hannah made for her. Well, I would like to take a stroll with the two of you to Welsia Academy, where the heroes are. I know the situation you are in, so it's best to hide. But I really want to go there. Fine. The three of us agreed and have gone to the Welsia Academy. We are around the entrance. Use skill, Lord of Deceit and Lies. Lucifer we use this to change our looks to that of a regular student here. Hey there, haven't seen you three. Wait, you are Lord Welsia's daughter. Have you come to visit? Then please go right at the guards bowed and let us through. Where do you want to go, Fumiko? We whispered to her. I want to see how the classes are going. I want to go and see the hero's classroom. We headed towards the hero's classroom. Well, by the name I expect all of my classmates to be there as well. I hope no one will recognize us. Fumiko, don't use our real names, okay? We leaned down to whisper to her. Okay. We entered the hero's classroom. There they are taught magic and combat. It seems like this time they are doing both at the same time, going on against adventurers stronger than them. The teacher came up to us. She recognized Fumiko and let her in. Who are they? Pointing at us in disgust. They are my advisors. My dad hired them for me. I wanted to see what this academy is like since I will be enrolling soon. She took a defensive stance in front of us. Well, I hope they are strong. They won't be given time off. Now, if you want to experience this class head-on, I suggest you some training here. Along with the two of them, of course. I want to see what they are made of. The teacher looked at us for three more minutes. Excuse me, can we go outside? Somewhere where we can destroy things freely? Some students heard me saying this and looked at me. They don't seem to recognize who I really am. Finn, I doubt you will ever do that. Commoners don't have many skills and magic power like noble maybe. But monsters do. I smiled at her and nodded. The strongest three in the class come outside with me. You will have a mock battle. Is this how newcomers are treated? No, it's because you look like commoners. They want to humiliate you in front of the heroes and make the heroes go on the same road as them. Huh, that's a scummy tactic. We reached the training grounds. It was in the same place where we saved our classmates from the Alpha Magi Wolf. Now, you can begin the battle. The three strongest students in our class are the gym rats. These guys always have gone to the gym and were the first in any sports class. Sia, tell me their levels. All of them are level 10. Really, level 10? Can't they be more over-leveled a little? Yes, and their stats, they are half of yours. I told you that heroes gain levels slower but their stats increase way faster than yours. All of them have been blessed with a legendary skill, exponential growth and another random skill that they chose. Well I want to have a worthy fight with the two of you. I see that she can only provide help with potions since your little lady there is a potioner. Let's see how you deal against us. They charged at us. Their movements are so slow and sloppy I can almost see them in slow motion. I won't be using my shadow tentacles here. You too, drink up. It's a special buff potion made by me. Fumiko threw us two potion vials. This potion will multiply your current status four times. Sounds overkill but the potion will work. We kept the potion. I signaled Hannah to do the same. Don't worry. We can beat them without it. The first one charged at me. I grabbed him by the next with my left hand and smashed him into the earth. A few bones can be heard breaking. The other one was charging at Hannah. She kicked him in the stomach and poked him in the eyes. She finished him off with a kick to the head. The third one is of the assassin class and wants to attack you from the behind. Cast wind magic at the tree behind you. I blown the leaves off of the tree behind me. And true to what Sia said, he was there. Being caught by surprise I made the first move, climbed the tree and punched him in the face. Falling down he hit his head and fainted. This can't be it. You are cheating. Just look at you. You are commoners, nothing more. How can the two of you beat heroes that are way stronger than you? The teacher looked at us angry. Give them a break. They are stronger okay? Now I will take my leave. 
I have a meeting to attend. Find this. Take care of these two disgusting commoners. Keep them on a leash not to destroy anything man. I want to punch her face so bad. Solution. Use your shadow tendrils to trip her or your shadow hand to do to. Covertly I use my shadow tendril to make her trip and place my shadow hand right where her face would land and at the last moment formed a punch. She got what she deserved Fumiko turned around to look at her and smile. At the meeting between Lord Akrol and Lord Welsia. So tell me, you really want to soothe relations with us right? Lord Akrol looked at me holding a bottle of wine. Yes, why not toast to our new reunion? Please butler, put some wine in the glass. I grabbed the glass and poured one glass of wine for Lord Akrol. It's not time to use my skill yet. Well, we will need your butler and maid out of this room if we want to talk business. Okay, but can they pour us one last glass of wine before they go? Lord Welsia gave me the glass. Lord Akrol did the same. Wait, I will bring another sort of wine from the cellar. Wait a little bit I gone to the cellar and searched for a new bottle of wine. Use skill. Predator I infused the wine with all the poison I had from Lord Welsia. Going back to their room, I poured them one glass of wine. Me and Hannah are now outside with Fumiko waiting to see what will happen. So what do you think will happen? Fumiko sat on a chair. I had to lower myself to talk to her. I don't know. I hope it goes okay. But there is chance for things to fail and lead to further conflict. We will see. I expect only the best. Fumiko is so optimistic. After a few minutes I can hear a thud coming from the room. What was that? Fumiko wanted to enter but Hannah stopped her. Hannah's eyes started to tear up. Don't worry I will go and check. Hannah, it's too dangerous for Fumiko. Keep her here. Yes Hannah turned Fumiko backwards to the door. Looking around the large room I can see the corpses of Lord Welsia and Lord Ikril. Mission done. Using my shadow tendrils I silently dragged their corpses into a separate part of the room. Use skill. Predator I devoured the skills of both Lord. They didn't have many skills that were useful. Well I already had these basic skill. Hashtag skill gained. Dimension home hashtag ho. Huh? What is this skill? It allows you to create a dimension where you can store living things. Sia responded somewhat excited. No time to ponder this new skill. Using the shadow tendril already out I placed the corpses in the following manner. Lord Welsia defending himself from Lord Ikril that was trying to stab him. He got his throat slashed by the knife and couldn't scream and then Lord Ikril took his own life. Hannah, Fumiko, bad news. The two of them came in and saw the corpse. Hannah looked sad. Fumiko fell to her knees and started to cry. Look, I am sorry that this happened I walked near Fumiko. She extended her arm and gripped my waist tightly. She didn't let go of me for like 30 minutes. Man, I feel like crap for what I did to Fumiko. But it was needed for us to survive. We couldn't have done it otherwise. We evacuated the mansion since royal guards will likely come. I am at my house with Hannah and Fumiko. She finally calmed down but she looks like a shell of herself. Looks like I need to cheer her up the best way that I can. I must do something to make her feel happy. But what? Doesn't matter. I will think about it later. 1. Strike Aftermath 1. After the strike on the local lord, Fumiko had been affected greatly. I don't know what to do in this situation. I can't let Hannah handle it all alone. Hannah, Fumiko. Do the two of you want to get something to eat? The two of them looked at me. Fumiko had a look on her that said just kill me. I don't feel like eating anything both of them responded at the same time. Hikaru. I feel like we made a mistake with this decision. I want to be able to live freely without the threat of the lords and king but is it really right what we did just to save our own lives? It feels so petty Hannah started a conversation over the telepathic network. I know. I feel like crap as well. I have to hide. Fumiko will start to suspect that we might be up to no good with this move. We shouldn't let her find out about this I put my left hand on Fumiko's head. I won't but this won't erase what we did the discussion ended and we looked at each other. Do all politic discussions go like this? Are all politicians as corrupt they were? After a few more minutes, Fumiko stopped crying. She asked us standing up from her seat. Not all of them, but most do. Politics are complicated and people are willing to take lives in order to achieve their goals. It's cruel but that's the world we live in Fumiko stopped and thought for a little bit. You are right. The two of you are the only good people that I met until now. Thanks for being here for me. 
I don't know what to do with my life right now. Hikaru, I trust that you do good judgments. What should I do now? The only solution is to take the place of your father and Lord Ikril. The two of us will be your guards and will assure that nothing bad happens to you. Are able to accept this? Her eyes light up and she nods. Yes, there isn't any way other than this. With the two of you I am sure I won't end up like my father. I don't want to die Hannah hugged Fumiko once again. Well I will get some ingredients to see what I can cook up. I promise you the ramen or udon. Which one of them you want? Are you in the mood to eat at least? I got some ingredients out of my spatial storage and began cooking ramen for Fumiko. I started by preparing the noodles and then the soup. It took me a while. In this time Fumiko had calmed down a bit and she can be reasoned with. Here you go. I hope you enjoy it. I smiled and put the bowl of ramen on the table. Thanks, Akaru. Fumiko began to eat out of the ramen bowl. Me and Hannah had gone outside. We could see some of our classmates from Welsia Academy. Most of them were on our side. We had our disguises on for anything that may happen. Hello, you two. Didn't you find two people here? Akatsuki, she one of our classmates that turned against us and does what the king says. How do they look? This was almost empty when we discovered it. This is the fastest answer I could think of. Almost empty? What did you find here? She got closer to us. Well, there were two corpses. One of a teenage boy and one of a teenage girl. We burned them. I don't remember how they looked like she smiled and looked at us. Well, then I shouldn't bother any of you anymore. She left. The classmates that are on our side stood there as shock watching us. Come on you four. Hikaru and Hannah are already dead I could her from here. I could see her smiling as well. Sia, what is her skill? She has the legendary skill, temptation. It's a mind manipulation skill that she can use to twist people's perception and make them do her bidding. You are immune to it because you are a demon and Hannah is immune due her willpower. Hashtag legendary skill gained. Mental attack nullification hashtag both me and Hannah gained this skill. Well, we can't be sure. Maybe those bodies were of someone else. We will stay here and look around. Some of our classmates tried to stay behind. Well, you have a point. You may stay her Massimune she and the others left. Massimune approached us. Use skill. Lord of deceit and lies. Lucifer we shed our disguise and he looked at us in shock. You two are alive? How? He whispered trying not to attract that much attention. It's a secret. But more importantly, how is the situation on the king's side? I want to know everything that there is to know about the king, and how he is doing at this very moment if you could offer me this information, Massimune. I leaned into his side. Well, everyone has been ripped in a blood frenzy. Both Lord Welsia and Lord Ikral have been killed. It appears that they had ulterior motives to this meeting. It's rumored that Lord Welsia sent some people to invite Lord Ikril over to his place but Lord Ikril had other plans and decided to kill Lord Welsia. Now, his daughter, Fumiko is the next in line to take both lordships. This caused some problems for Ikril's son who was to marry Fumiko. Lord Ikril's son will come in two days from now to see Fumiko. This is all I can gather. I will get going now, Massimune left after giving us this informatin. It's useful. Very useful indeed. I devised a plan where you have two choices. Either kill Lord Ikril's son or you make Fumiko hate him. I suggest the second option. Fumiko already dislikes his son to a great extent. This will force him to retreat from his position and let Fumiko rule without any opposition. You make a valid point Sia. Well we have to prepare for this in two days. I suggest that you do so in secret and not tell Fumiko about anything just yet. Got it Sia. 1. Strike Aftermath 2. One day remaining before Lord Ikril's son arrives. Well, what to do until it happens? Sia, I wonder how do you get all of your information that you give me? Are there any limitations to what you information you can get me? I am sitting on my bed, looking up at the ceiling. I can get most pieces of information that you request. However, I can't access information that are culturally considered taboo in this world. However, there is another skill that can help you with this. I call her my little sister. Well, she is my little sister. We were born from the same supreme skill. Her name is Mammon with the title of Lord of Forbidden Knowledge. She can get all the information like myself and taboo information on top of that. I understand. Well, I doubt I can obtain Mammon anytime soon. You did well on every task that I gave you until now, Sia. Thank you for saying such a nice thing about me. 
Hikaru. I got up from my bed and looked around. I am alone in my room. Hana is with Fumiko and Welsia running some errands for her. Don't know what to do now or how to prepare. I might need to ask Fumiko about Lord Akro soon and find a way to make Fumiko hate him even more. But what if I kill him? Well, maybe that will make Fumiko sadder and I want to avoid that. I know if I kill him despite the fact that Fumiko hates him already it will cause her to be hurt even more. How are you Hikaru? Fumiko entered into the house. She looks happier than yesterday. Well, got sidetracked and stared at the walls for half an hour. I will get to cooking something for the both of you getting out of bed I picked up a pan and some ingredients. I put the water to boil, got the rice out and split it in three portions and a few slabs of meat for the three us. Sweet rice and fried meat. It's an odd dish that I once ate at one of the mental facilities I was being held at after my first suicide attempt. It tasted good for me. No time to remember what happened there. I have to keep going on here. What are you thinking about Hikaru? Hannah talked to me through the telepathic network. Nothing really. There is an important event we need to focus on. Didn't Sia tell you about it yet? Yes, she did tell me about it. Lord Ikril's son is coming to Welsia in a day to visit her. He must be grieving as well. I don't know what to do honestly. How do we make Fumiko hate him even more like Sia suggested? Any ideas? Well, I think I got it. We can spread a fake rumor that he was somewhat involved in killing her father with his own father, and that he planned this from the start. This is the best plan. But what evidence should we use against him in the first place? No, we need something that can prove without any shadow of a doubt that he had a hand in it, and is looking to steal Fumiko's place to be a lord. Yes, be careful Hikaru. I know you got this. But be careful, he might be unto us. His son is as old as Fumiko and has greater intellect than her, or even us, we can't underestimate him. He might even spill the beans to Fumiko if he knows about this. What makes you think he might be unto us? I didn't see him when we have gone to Ikro so it shouldn't pose a problem. Well, I was told by Fumiko that he possess an ability that allows him to find the truth to whatever question he may ask. But the only condition is to look around for the answer himself. The true answer will be revealed once he gazes at it. Well, seems kinda useless for a skill. But if it is like that if it works like that I can see your point. But I don't think we have to worry about anything right now. They have drunk poison and weren't killed directly. I made the stab wounds using my shadow tendrils and Lord Akril's hands and I poisoned the drink using an ability. The way you put it it looks like it can detect only the direct action of a person but not the action of a skill itself. Let's ask Sia just to be sure. Sure, Sia, what can you tell us about this ability? Hikaru is mostly right about this ability. It's a legendary tier ability called Investigate Truth. There is a loophole using this skill. If Lord Ikril soon knows the name of the skill that you used to poison the drink of his father then it will show him as true. So, it will work only if he knows the skill name. I see. Is there anything that we can do to counter that skill of his? Yes, you can Lucifer in order to deceive his ability. Once you have the skill activated, all the results from his skill will be manipulated in your favor no matter what will happen. Primordial skills can rarely be countered by a legendary skill which is the case with this one. But I do suggest caution because he might try to do some shady things with the two of you or Fumiko to convince her to forfeit her lordship and giving everything to him. Watch out for Fumiko and take care of her. The telepathic communication ended. Me and Hannah nodded to each other. As I promised I will take the hard choices into my own hands, I know Hannah is not the type of person to kill and hates the idea. I hate it as well. But this is what we must do to survive. If Sia wasn't numbing our emotions we will be emotional wreck. Funny thing that I discovered with the telepathy skill is that with the appropriate skills someone can control aspects of another person. We might also be able to use that on Lord Ikril's son. Hikaru, Hana. The two of you seem to space out for a long while. What happened? Fumiko is near me on the bed. Yes, guess we fell asleep with our eyes opened. Sorry for that Fumiko. What do you want to do next? Hana grabbed Fumiko and gone with her outside. We will be back Hikaru. 1. Strike Aftermath 3. This the day. Lord Zikril's son will arrive today. We need to be ready to welcome him. If we get friendly with him first then extract all the information we can from him, and then frame him for everything. We won't have to worry about any competition for Fumiko. 
We need her to take on both Ikral and Walsia as the new lord. We might even be able to get under the king's radar this way. Hikaru, help me with this please. Hannah is trying to reach a high spot to dust it off as since now we are cleaning the old cabin that we live in. Sure I grabbed the broom with one of my shadow tendrils and guided it to dust the ceiling off. Today is the day that Lord Ikral's son arrives. How are we going to deal with him Hikaru? Hannah is cleaning the rest of the cabin. Well, the plan goes that we should make Fumiko hate him even more and then have the people vote in favor of Fumiko in the upcoming Lord candidacy. In the end if most people vote for Fumiko she will get even more land to control but if people vote for Lord Ikral's son then we will lose some ground and we will likely be attacked by his army and the imperial army. We will need to act fast on this matter me and Hannah ended our talk. We now talk only via the telepathic network set up by Sia. Fumiko is in the hues with us. Guys I never told the two of you, but my father actually wanted me to marry someone, Lord Ikral's son. He had hoped that with this our relations will be better, but I ended up hating Lord Ikral's son. He is supposed to come one of these days. His name is Ray. His mother was an otherworlder like the two of you but she died when he was little great. Another person with a sad backstory that we have to backstab. Suggestion. You can befriend him instead. I give us the new plan. Since you will use your disguise you can say that the people the king is searching for is dead. This will carry more weight coming from two children of Lord and will also confirm that there is someone else to look for. If you go with your original plan, you won't hurt anyone. Since both of his parents, and if T.I. work perfectly Fumiko won't be as affected by his death since she will hate him. That's a good idea as well. I think we will do a mix of those two things that you mentioned now. I like how you think. I see that you already devised your own plan to dispose of Lord Ikro's son. Fumiko, how much do you like Ray? I mean if your dad wanted to marry him you must have liked him once? Am I assuming wrong? I stoop up from my spot, looked at Fumiko that is sitting across from me. We just installed the new sort of couch, a small one at that so that me and Hannah can sit or only one of us can sleep there in case there is any problem that we will need to deal with, or if we have guests over. No, you are wrong. I always disliked Ray. He is always showing up, putting people down just so he can get up. Plus he is the one that instilled fear of monster, especially of demons and ogres. He hates monster with all of his heart. He thinks that humans are superior to monsters in every way. Just because humans can get more skills and evolve more with hard work. Or so he says. Well I guess I am wrong. I think he will have a heart attack if he will ever find out that I am a demon and Hannah is an ogre. Sincerely he sounds like a spoiled brat I striked a bit and then looked at the door and windows. He will be here shortly. You have around five more minutes to freely talk with Fumiko. Yes. He always mocked me for my mana illness and the way my mind regressed because of it. But now I have you two to thank for curing me of my illness. Well it still acts up from time to time but I am able to control a lot more with the help of you two. I feel a presence, Fumiko. Hide I know it's Lord Ikral's son but we are better safe than sorry on this one. Who goes there? We heard a knock on the door. Hannah was the first to reply. I am Lord Ikral's son, Ray. Open the door now. It's okay Hikaru Fumiko whispered in my ear. Fumiko walked to the door and opened it. Hello Fumiko, what are you doing in a place such as this? It looks like a ruin that was recently built. No place for a lady like you. And who are those two? He pointed towards us. Hannah, follow my acting I sent this message quickly over our telepathic network. Well, who are you kid? I don't believe you are Lord Ikro's son. He didn't mention having a son to us. As Ms. Fumiko's advisors we have to protect her of any threat that may come and you are marked as one. For now we will let you of the hook because Ms. Fumiko seems to know you a little bit. If you try anything funny we will strike you down I can see him trying to grab something from his back. I sent one of my shadow tendrils to keep his hand in place and not move. What are you doing with a hand behind you back? If you have good intentions. Say that you will do no harm and drop any weapon you may have Hannah followed by coming closer to him. I further restrained him. Hannah disarmed him and put him on the couch. Geez, your guards are good. But what about my weapons? How will I defend myself? Ray looked at us while frowning. Don't worry. We will defend the two of you. Now, what do you want with Miss Fumiko? Tell us. I walked up to him and starred daggers at him. 
Well, she will be my bride's son and will help keep the two lordships. Isn't that right, Fumiko? Ray looked at Fumiko with a smile. A smile that doesn't look real. Sia, analyze him. Well, I don't know what to say. It's sudden Fumiko doesn't know what to say. Come on, you know the two monsters that were summoned. They are dead and they will soon catch who killed our parents as well. And then we can take revenge together on them. What do you say? Ray extended his hand towards Fumiko. Well, I don't want to kill or hurt anyone. Fumiko put her hand on her head and laid on the ground. Seems like you are still affected by that illness. I want a bride, not a child. Ray tried to grab Fumiko from the ground but I stopped him with one of my shadow tendrils. I think Miss Fumiko was clear in what she said. Try anything like that and we will need to tackle you to the ground. I walked near Ray and grabbed him by his shirt, collar and separated him from Fumiko. What are you doing? Put me down this instant. I looked him in the eyes. I didn't show any emotions aside from boredom. No, until you calm down. If you a threat for Miss Fumiko, we will need to kick you out. Fine. Are you too willing to help me with some investigation to look into my father's murder? He pouted. Yes. We will do that tomorrow. We need to give Miss Fumiko time to recover, understand? I frowned and pressed my forehead against his. Yes sir, he is getting a little scared now. That's good. Analysis complete. What he said is true. However, he wants to take over the other lordships as well. He is searching for you too in order to assassinate the other lords. I think you can take it from here, Hikaru. You know what to do, right? I know exactly what to do, Sia. Thank you for the information. 1. Strike Aftermath 4. A few hours later, I have gone outside with Ray. I don't really know what to do at the moment or how to put our plan into action. I don't know Ray's next move. I thought I knew what he had in mind but it seems that I am wrong. Do you know about the outlaws Hikaru and Hana? I mean I think you do know them Ray sat under a tree looking directly at me. Well I don't know who you are talking about. I tried to play dumb in front of him. Well I brought this magic ball where I have stored a photo of his face. Look do you know anything about him? Ray showed me the crystal ball with my face in it. What do you need them for exactly? Ray took a step back and smiled. I want them to help me take over the other lordships as well. Those two will be good pawns for me to use so. This is how he thinks of me and Hannah. Well, better lie. Oh, now I know. Yes, he is already dead. I found his corpse and the corpse of a girl along with him in that cabin. I don't know how they died. But maybe it's poisoning Ray looked shocked for a few seconds. Well, that foiled everything I had. Now I command you not to tell a word of this to Fumiko he got up and moved face and started smile. There won't be a need for that. Ray, what the hell? You want to take over the other lordships as well? What's wrong with you? Fumiko was hiding the whole time with Hana. She knew what she was doing. Fumiko, you must not understand. Just think about it. If we had those two outlaws on our side then we could rule most of the lands of the kingdom. Think about it. Ray got closer to Fumiko. I had enough of you already. I won't be surprised you didn't have a hand in what happened with my father. I swear to the gods, your greed is something else. Fumiko slapped Ray and pinned him against the tree. I didn't know your mind developed so much Fumiko. You are less dumber than before Ray tried to kick Fumiko but I restrained him with my shadow tendrils. I think this is enough, you are a threat to Miss Fumiko, and we won't allow that. Any further attempts of violence, and we will use brute force on you. Hannah gone up to Ray and slapped him. You will see what will happen to you three. Just wait. You will be crawling back to me. I wrapped Ray in my shadow tendrils and threw him into a tree in the forest. Using one of my shadow tendril I made Ray destroy the crystal ball. I can't risk any evidence leaking out. Well now stay away from Fumiko, got it? The three of us had gone back. I need to think quick and take out Ray. I wanted to befriend him but it's too dangerous to do any of that now. Warning. I detected some evidence on Ray that might incriminate the two of you. I suggest immediate dispatching. You heard that Hannah? We started talking over the telepathic network. Yes. Well I know a way. It will be the perfect crime. I will tail Ray and see what he is up to and then see what I can do. You take care of Fumiko. Fumiko. Look I think I saw some evidence that might incriminate Ray. I will go and gather as much info as possible. You talk with the guards and see what you are able to do on your own. Look, we need to do something about Ray. We can't let this chance go. You understand, don't you? I looked at Fumiko's eyes for a little bit. 
She nodded and then I set out to search to where Ray went. I arrive in Welsia. I saw Ray standing at a fountain. He had another crystal ball. I put on a different disguise this time and approached him. Who are you? He looked at me confused. I am the person you are searching for. I will tell you more in that alley. The two of us walked in the alley and Ray stood a good distance from me. What do you want from me? Well, I heard that you talked about me with that guard. I am Hikaru Tanaka. I just killed two people and put their corpses there. A perfect red herring Ray eyes lit up. So, how are you going to help me? He got closer to me. Well, I need some things first. Those are from the Lord's Mansion. I need them in some ritual I can't speak about. But if you can steal them tonight I can begin to kill the other lords. I smiled with a devilish grin. Well do. I will be prepared. We will meet in this alley again right? I smiled back at him and then left. I bought some rope from a shop here. A few minutes before Ray arrives. Let's see. I need to set this up in a good way. I found a support for the rope and tied a knot. I will make Ray's death look as a suicide as he looks to cover his tracks. The perfect crime. I place the rope in a dark corner where no one can see it in this light. Here I am. What do I need to do? I need to be quick. Guards are chasing me. I pointed to the spot where the rope is and he dropped the knife there. Now go up on that chair and jump over. I will take care of the guards. I grabbed the rope with one of my tendril and wrapped it around his neck and with another tendrils I pulled the chair from below him. What the hell? Those are the last words Ray could get out before starting to suffocate. See you. I waved my hand and ran back to Fumiko and Hannah. Are you okay Hikaru? She was at the door with Hannah. Yes I am okay. But Ray, he stole something from the crime scene. I don't know what. The guards are chasing him. No surprise there. Look, let's sleep and see it in the morning we slept in and in the morning Fumiko found out about how Ray wanted to cover up the two lords murder and that he had something to do with all of that. This chapter is closed right now. Fumiko can finally take control over the two lordships and make out lives a lot easier than they were before. 1. Fumiko's Lordship 1. It had been a day since the incident with Rei. Hikaru, come here and take a look. Fumiko dragged me to a tree. The tree looked weird. Can't say what was weird about it though. What is it now Fumiko? I leaned and looked at her. Well you see that tree. It looks weird doesn't it? Fumiko pointed at the wavy tree. It looks more like a chip to me. Notice. The tree has illusion magic built into it. Dispel illusion? Yes. The tree turned into one of our classmates. And it isn't one of the people from my class I will be glad to see in our situation. So you two are actually alive. I hear her calling your name. You have a lot of explaining to do to me. Hikaru she is Hanako one of the anti-Hikaru and Hana gang member alongside with the king. What pray tell are you doing here? I drew my shadow sword. She won't be able to see it as long as she doesn't have shadow magic. I am hunting for you and Hana. I am sent on the king's orders. I will bring you to the two of them right now for a safety measure. I wrap my shadow tendrils around her so she won't be able to do much when she moves. Well, and what do you expect the two of us to just surrender to you? I gave her a smug smile while I placed one of my shadow hands in front of her face and formed a fist with that hand. Yes, that's the best case scenario. You won't be hurt at the castle. You will be kept in a prison until the king decides that you are not a threat to the people of this nation. She is ready to charge me with a dagger. Warning. She is charging up her legendary skill named execution, an evolved form of the skill assassination. She is a level 5 assassin class adventurer. I made the shadow tendrils very tight around her legs and arms. Moments later when she tried to use her skill she plummeted face first into the shadow fist I had created for her, knocking her unconscious. Well that is out of the way. But how do we make her forget everything or something similar? Sorry for calling your name out loud Hikaru Fumiko apologized to me. No problem, you couldn't have known it either. I want to try something. I don't know if I can I looked at her body that lays on the ground. That skill is useful to have. Answer. You can steal skills with Predator without devouring the target. But it's very hard to do. You will need my guidance on this one Hikaru. Okay Sia. Do you magic? Use skill. Predator the skills aura engulfed her. Hashtag skills gained. Execution hashtag. Good job Sia. Anything to help you Hikaru. What did you just do now Hikaru? 
Fumiko looked over at Hanako. She is on the ground and seems not to breathe. I stole her skill with my own skill. Hashtag due to his achievement the individual Hikaru Tanaka will receive the skill plunderer hashtag I can hear the same voice talking again. Sia I forgot to ask you, but what is this voice that I always hear? It's strange to hear it, even though I only hear it when I gain a skill. That is known as the great voice, the entity that is responsible for giving skills to people in this world. She also announces important events that have to do with the world. For example the birth of a new hero or demon lord can trigger the great voice to speak to the entire world and announce it. Okay, I think I got it. Thank you CSO. If we want to become demon lords we must plan ahead of time, since it will be announced to the whole world. We need to take everything into account before then. What the hell happened? Hanako is starting to wake up. Fumiko, run I leaned in and whispered to her. Me and Fumiko ran until the cabin. Hannah saw us and explained the situation to her. This is bad. It will affect Fumiko if she is discovered sheltering us. Maybe we should change forms. People may not recognize us if we do that. Hannah is looking at ground trying to come up with a plan. Wait, Hikaru, I have an idea. Why not use my skill to manipulate people? I will go to Hanako and try to modify parts of her memory. Hannah looked at me suddenly. I nodded and gone with her. Odds are in our favor. Hanako is heading towards us at a fast pace. You too. She began to run towards us now. She is holding a small blade. I yanked it out of her hands with my shadow tendrils and pulled her closer while immobilizing her. Hannah Sia, you too should be able to do this. Hannah looked at me and nodded. After five minutes Hanako looked around confused and began walking towards the royal palace. Successful. Memory modification succeeded. The individual Hanako won't bother you again. Okay, boo that this is taken care of. Hannah, what is our next step? I rather leave some things to Hannah as well. I made the choice with the local lords, but now, she knows what's best. Yes, Hikaru. We should go with Fumiko at her ceremony of lordship. From this moment onward we should try to live as quietly as possible. Maybe research how the summoning was done to see if we can send our classmates back home. Hannah sounds a little bit sad. It's hard to make out emotions over the telepathic network. And it's even harder to look at the road, talk and be aware of threats at the same time. Okay, but why would you worry about most of those people? Half of them are trying to kill us Hannah. I know, but if we can send them back home we will be able to get rid of them without killing them. It will be the best for the two of us as well. We can't return to our own world and they give us problem in this world. So it will be better to return them to their world as well. Hannah looked around. Fumiko did the same. Something is up. Warning. Someone with high magic density is stalking you. Calculating target. Most likely result of target is white Fenrir. Fenrir? Wait. The monster that holds the demon lord sprouting? Yes. 1. Fumiko's lordship 2. A white Fenrir. Both me and Hannah can feel a chill run down our spines when we heard about it. The Fenrir. Creature that holds the demon lord sprouting. I assume it's very strong and we stand no chance of fighting it. Fumiko, run! Hannah shouted while running. I did the same thing. For a second it seems like the Fenrir has lost us but no, it wasn't. It's just masking its presence. A creature this powerful will do it without breaking a sweat. There, Hannah talked with me via the telepathic network. We ran in the way she indicated us to run. With all of our best efforts of evading the Fenrir, we still couldn't do it. When we turned to go closer to our cabin it jumped in front of us cutting our access point to any shelter. I just want to talk. Sorry for scaring you three a talking giant wolf is in front of us. Much taller than a magi wolf. It has fur white as snow. Its eyes seem a little off for a wolf. But its aura is not threatening. Or so I hope. Analysis complete. The Fenrir isn't hostile. Fine. But don't sneak up on people like that Hannah breath a sigh of relief. I don't have time. I want to test the two of you right now. It's very important that you pass my tests. What is he talking about? What tests are you going to put them through? Fumiko asked the wolf. You will see shortly. Now you two. Try to take these two sproutlings from me. A bright red light enveloped the Fenrir turning it into a tall, pale-skinned and slender girl with silver hair. How is a monster able to transform into a human? Fumiko looked at the Fenrir in amazement. Well... There is the personification and humidification skills. 
My kind, although rarely is born with these skill. Once you have these skills you are a human stuck in a wolf's body the girl stretched her body for a bit. I don't know if I can do this. Fenrir is level 1000. Her stats are 100 times bigger than yours. Okay, I won't move too much and won't attack. We begin in 3, 2, 1 and... Go! On the go Hannah charged at the wolf. I have another idea. I charged at it while preparing my shadow tendrils to interfere with her attacks. No. I will have to steal her demon lord sproutlings from her this way. I reach closer to her but both me and Hannah and thrown out of the way. It didn't look like she even move a finger. My shadow tendrils don't have enough reach from this point that I am in and I don't have enough mana to extend their reach either. I use most of it to summon a lot of them so I am stuck with 50 tendrils of 5 meters. Hannah charged again with her katana. It was caught between her fingers. I charged again. I jumped in the air using my shadow tendrils, but made it look organic enough to seem that is the height that I can jump without them. A strong gust of wind released from her palms sent me flying backwards. Man, what should we do now? She doesn't even look tired. Maybe this isn't the correct approach to fight her. If that the most the two of you can do, then you are decent. You two have intellect, but you lack in strength. Shall we continue? This is my chance. No, I give up I stay on the ground and try to get up. She run over to me and helps me stand up. This is the chance. With my shadow tendril I stole the sproutlings and gave them to Hannah. Now let's continue. She put her hands on her shoulders and saw the sproutlings missing. They are here. Hannah smiled at her. Now how did the two of you do it? I am confused. I didn't feel anything or didn't feel like it was grabbed. Hikaru said he gives up so I went to help him and now they are there? She looked confused. She looked at us for over 10 minutes. Do you want to know how we did it? Yes, please she sat down and signaled for all us to sit down. Well, I used the shadow magic base skill, shadow tendrils and shadow hand the Fenra looked like she has a knot in her neck. Wait, you have shadow magic? I it makes sense now she looked at the ground. Yes, is it not that common to hear about shadow magic? She looks sacred when I mentioned shadow magic. Yes, it's very rare. Only demons and people of the assassin class have it. Even among them shadow magic is rare. It's the magic that can only be seen by someone that has shadow magic as well of the shadow eye skill. The skill that I don't possess. I couldn't even detect your tendrils. Look, we didn't obtain the items in a fair way for you. It was done more through deceit. You can have them back. We will challenge you again when we are stronger than this. Hannah, please, give them back. Hannah returned the sproutlings to the Fenrir. She paused and giggled for a second. You two can keep them. I don't need them. I know that the next two demon lords will be good people. That's the easiest part when you want to become a demon lord. The next part are the subordinates and the soul gathering. I wish you two luck with that she got up and left. She returned the demon lord sproutlings to us. Me and Hannah consumed the two sproutlings. Hashtag the individuals Tanaka Hikaru and Hannah Tamira had successfully absorbed the demon Lord Sproutling. The growing festival will begin when the last evolution stage had been reached. Hashtag. I can hear the great voice again. This was just a local message to the two of you and people close to you too. I can't believe it. You two actually obtained the demon Lord Sproutling. That is great. Congrats. We continued to walk with Fumiko by our side until we reached the cabin. 1. Fumiko's Lordship 3. At Fumiko's Declaration of Lordship. Me and Hannah are the declaration of lordship that Fumiko has to go through to become lord of both Welsia and Ikro. We are at the royal palace, again. The first time we got kicked out. We are disguised using my skill but I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, Hikaru, what are you thinking about? Hannah started a conversation over the telepathic network. Well, we are at the royal palace. It feels like a trap, for me at least. I looked around the room we are in. The guest room of the royal palace. Fumiko is sitting near me. She is sleeping. Fumiko is exhausted. She prepared the whole night for this. Oh, you two must be Fumiko's guards, or so I heard. I am Princess Almawika, a girl shorter than me presented herself. She wears everything a princess would wear. She looks beautiful. Sia, analyze her. It will take some minutes. Discuss with her until then. So, princess, why are you here? Why should you bother with a small lord like Fumiko? I mean, don't you have more important things to attend to? Plus I have a bad feeling about today. 
I suggest that you be on your guards, we already are. She was a little taken back by this. How do you know something bad will happen? She looked a little bit scared. Well, I have the legendary skill name premonition that lets me anticipate a bad event. But the catch is I don't know to whom it will happen and how damaging that event is come on Sia. Analyze faster, please. Analysis complete. The individual Alma Wika isn't human. She is a crossbreed between an ice demon and a human. Her dad keeps her locked away from the world. Her long hair covers her small horns. She still haven't evolved from a lesser demon like you did. She might be useful if you know what I mean. I do know what you mean, Sia. I will do that after Fumiko is declared lord. Is everything okay? You seem to space out Alma is up in my face and smiling. Oh, nothing. I was just using premonition again to see if the feeling is coming again I smiled at her. Okay, now, I will get going she didn't get even halfway through the door and King Wika appeared. What are you doing here? I told you stay in your room. King Wika tried to drag her by tightly gripping her arm. I extended one of my shadow hands. I almost crushed his hand. What the hell was that sharp pain in my arm just now? He looked around the room. It may be from old age if I may suggest your highness I bowed down to the king with my face down. Well maybe you are right kid. You, just go to your room. King Wika left. Good our disguise hasn't been blown out. King Wika doesn't like his daughter. He has the legendary skill lust. He can charm anyone with it. Alma mother was a ice demon that he later executed. There was no reason behind the execution other than that she was a demon. He can't execute Princess Alma because that will stir up a conflict in the kingdom. People of the kingdom like Princess Alma more than her father, and he knows that. You might convince him of something if you that reasoning. Guys, my ceremony is about to begin. Thanks for keeping me safe you two Fumiko patted the two of us on the back. Fumiko, I have one request from you. If the king wants you to choose a retainer to do your job for you choose Princess Alma, you will be saving her from a life of nightmare. Please do that Fumiko looked at me confused. Okay, we'll try my best. The ceremony. Everyone is gathered in the ballroom of the castle. All the nobles of the kingdom are gathered there. I can hear whispered among them. What a lucky brat. Just because those two were idiots and killed each other now that little wench is having it all for herself. One of the nobles closest to me commented. The death of Ray seems fishy to me. He was an accomplice but why did he hang himself? It looked like someone set him up. Maybe it was that little bitch now. I have another target to eliminate. A noble with silver hair, dressed in a red cloak. What is up with those two guards? They seem powerful, more powerful than us. Don't you think that will be a problem? Another noble commented. Everyone quiet down, King Wika commanded. We are gathered here now to declare a new lord of the land in Welsia and Ikro. We all know the tragedy that happened a week ago. It may be rushed but we need Samian to lead over both lands. I King Wika, I declare Fumiko Welsia lord over the lands of Welsia and Ikro. That patch of Lang will be known as the United Lands of Welsia and Ikro. Thank you, my King Fumiko kneeled. The two of us are on our guard. Why aren't the two guards kneeling? A noble shouted at us. Hmm? King Wika looked at us. We are sorry but we are on duty. Can kneel. It will be harder to draw my sword and fight and threats. Our duty is protect Fumiko. So if we kneel and get attack we will be easy pickings for the attackers. Hannah was the first to talk. I couldn't think what to say. That makes sense. Everyone, the guards stay up and guard. From now on don't kneel on duty. Even in front of me. I want maximum security here. The other guards got up and remained vigilant. Is there any request that you have of me? I am willing to give almost anything King Wika is standing near the stairs that lead to his throne. Well I want a retainer that has no malice towards me. Someone from the nobility will be a mistake to ask for. If I may ask for your daughter to be my retainer. I can teach her everything about etiquette. Make her a woman in the true sense of the word. You will be a proud father after that there was a stir in the crowd. King Wika thought for a bit. Well if you can transform her then yes. Make her a candidate for marriage. And maybe then the prince of a neighboring country will want to marry her. Yes, that's an excellent idea. I will raise your rank, you directly helping the kingdom with this. And make sure to pay those guards well. They seem pretty strong. And you too, protect your lady at all costs. King Wika clapped his hands and tried to return to the throne. I decided to trip him with my shadow tendril. 
He fell hitting his jaw on the wooden part of the throne. Some of the nobles laughed. This happened when we exited from the throne room. 1. Fumiko's Lordship 4. At the castle. We exited the throne room with Fumiko. The three of us had gone to wait for a little bit to see if we will get Princess Alma now. Hannah, do you think that we will get her now? Or we will get her a little bit later? I think you heard what Sia said, didn't you? Hannah was humming something in her mind. I interrupted her with this. Oh, it will be more beneficial to get her now rather than later. I did hear what Sia said, but there is another problem looming over us right now. At our current level we can be taken down easily, even by our classmates. Some of us are looking at us now. You see it to scan them for their stats. They look pretty strong to me. I turned my head and I could see Hanako. She doesn't recognize us while disguised by my skill. Sia, appraisal. The individual Hanako Kitamura seems to be level 10. Her stats are one quarter away from matching yours. Evolution is recommended if you want to stand a chance. Well, Sia Academy is training them day in and day out. Once Fumiko become Lord ask her to dish out monster extermination quests to you too. The stronger the monster the more EXP the two of you will gain. Understood. So Sia, how am I supposed to gain level? I gain them so slowly and Hikaru is levels above me. The answer is simple. Orcs and their evolution lines gain EXP much slower but they increase in stats much faster. The anomaly is that you and Hikaru have almost equal stat increases. So, you are saying that me and Hikaru are growing at a steady and almost equal pace? Yes, do I need to repeat that? No, sorry. When we finished talking over the telepathic network we were already in the waiting room. You haven't left Miss Fumiko? King Wika entered the room. I am taking a little break, my king. It was an honor to be here. I won't be able to throw a party or anything but I promise I will take good care of the lands that you gave to me. King Wika walked up to Fumiko. He looked down at her. My daughter will arrive there shortly. If you will want to wait for a few more hours then you two can leave with her. Another question about your guards. They seem strong. Very strong with high levels with magical energy for humans. Maybe you can assign them some more dangerous missions. And you too. Take good care of Fumiko. You have great potential. We waited around one hour or so for the princess to come with us. Well, where are we going? Where is your residence? Here in Welsia or in Ikro? Princess Alma looked at Fumiko and smiled. Well, we will be staying in Welsia. I have some things to do there. These two are my guards. They are tasked with training and guardian me Fumiko pointed towards the two of us. Did you say training? Alma is confused. Maybe she doesn't know what training is in the first place. Yes, like fighting and skill usage. They are pretty good at fighting so why not? Fumiko and Alma placed themselves between us as we exited the castle. We walked back to Welsia where Fumiko's dad lived and got into the mansion. Alma, there is a secret I need to tell you. Well, not me. But the two of them you mustn't speak with anyone about it. Alma got closer to Fumiko and she nodded her head, somewhat scared. What is it? She looked at the two of us. Well, we know that you are an ice demon that your dad had an affair. Your horns are slightly visible she fell on her back when hearing this. Her long hair getting messy and allowing us to see her horns. Oh, sorry, I think we forgot to change form Hannah giggled. Use skill. Lord Deceit and Lies Lucifer we changed before her into the people that we were before. Hikaru and Hannah. Wait, you two? You are a mix between Shadow and Ice Demon, and she is a greater orc. I am surprised to see a orc look so human. But you need to answer one question. Who exactly are the two of you? They are Hikaru and Hana Alma looks a little uneasy. Well, you don't have to worry for being a monster here. Fumiko is pretty welcoming of monsters. Plus we will teach you the same things that we taught her. Make yourself at home. We will go slay some monsters in a few hours. We need to keep our level up. Alma walked towards us after getting up from the ground. She looked nervous. Okay, but I heard bad things about you two from my dad. I don't know who to trust. You can trust me if you like I can a familiar voice. Wait, when did she enter here? The same woman with white hair that we saw, the Fenrir. Wait, you are white Fenrir. What are you doing here? Alma looked at her puzzled. Well, I wanted to say that Hikaru and Hannah are to be trusted. They deserve the demon lord seedlings to be given by me. I will stop talking. I will let them do the talking she walked up to the door of the house. If you like you can stay here. I don't mind Fumiko stopped her and sat her on a chair. Okay, enough. 
Let's hear what Hikaru has to say about this. Well, doesn't your father always bad mouth monsters when he in front of you? Doesn't he do the same thing to you as well? Why would you trust someone? Be it your father your father or not that has bias against a certain group of people telling you that they are bad. Does it make sense now? I tried to explain to the best of my ability. Yes, it does Alma looked at me and Hannah and started getting even closer to us, shaking our hands. Well, good that we can understand each other. Nice to meet you Alma, this time properly. Me and her we will have to change form when going out Taifumiko. But we will look like this while here. I understand. Well, it will be nice if you can train me, in real combat I mean. Tomorrow, one, getting stronger one, the next day. The next day I had gone with Fumiko and Alma to train. We need to get stronger now. Our classmates are catching up with us and we can't allow that. We must be stronger than them. I must be stronger. I must protect the people that I care about here. Life on earth for me wasn't pretty. But here, finally something new. Something that it is worth it for me. Or so I think at least. I must not allow Miceful to slip up or do anything of the sort every again. I think that killing myself in my original world was the best decision that I could make, and the worst decision at the same time. On one hand I live a life that I wanted to life, at least part of it, it's hard but I do get by, on the other hand. Well the fact that I am hunted and considered a threat for this whole kingdom is bad, even our own classmates were turned against us. Half of them want us to be free and the other half listen to the king and what he has to say about us. It's frustrating to have this thought at the back of your mind. What are you thinking about Hikaru? Fumiko looked up at me. Nothing, just random thoughts. Anyway, today we will do some basic training. Alma, can you swing a sword? I turned towards Alma. Use skill. Predator I made a training sword for Alma using the predator skill. A short sword made out of wood. Okay, now Alma, you are going to fight either me or Hannah. You chose... The other one who is not chosen will fight Fumiko. Fumiko and Alma nodded in agreement. I gave Fumiko another training sword and we begin to battle. Skipping the details of the battle the two of them had a bit of skill, especially Fumiko since we trained her before. Alma has a lot of wrong movement, but she should last against your run of the mill bandit pretty well. She will be at a disadvantage if there would be a group attack or anything that would take her by surprise. Okay. That's enough for the two of you Hannah clapped her hands and both Fumiko and Alma stopped. The two girls are exhausted from this training. I think it's enough for today Hikaru Alma commented. Yes I think so too I helped them get up and put them to rest on a bed. We can train for long periods of time. Fumiko and Alma have duties in regards of the management of the land that she has in possession and can't slack off even a minute she used up half of her break time to train with us. I bet there is a mountain of paperwork waiting for her inside. Hannah, let's go to the guild and see what missions we can pick up.